Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Before we start, we want to let you know that we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, where we post bonus episode, uh, exclusive content, yep. extra footage, monthly Q and A's. We have a private discord link for everybody to hang out and chat in. Also, you get early access to all these episodes. So everybody's already seen this, you know, a couple days ago and ad free on patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Exactly. We also leave these cameras rolling 15 to 20, 25 yeah. minutes after we finish every episode where hang we out. like to honestly keep the podcast going, talk shit, talk about whatever we want, how the episode went and stuff that we just don't want public. So if that's something you're interested in, again, all you got to do is go to patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. And this month we're actually doing, instead of a high episode as our bonus episode, we're going to do a drunk episode. Exactly. And we also have a live Q and A going up this week. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Let's jump into the episode, baby. Oh, we just got invited to a party. Oh, yay. Should we go to that <laughs> instead? Yay. <laughs> let's, just put, let's just push this off to tomorrow. We we're supposed to film two days ago, but we were dead. And, and we we're supposed um, to film the next day. Yeah. And we were dead. Exactly. We were mainly supposed to film Monday because um, because Matt was leaving for London. and But we just, we were exhausted from the trip. Yeah. We just could not get ourselves to do it. Our bodies were run down. So to fill up Matt's spot today, we got Jordan. Woo! Hello. Thanks for coming hey, on. Everyone. Don't be shy. You got this. Just be yourself. Normally, everybody just hears him giggle behind camera. <laughs> yeah, that's he's the giggle man that you hear every episode. Honestly, it feels like a TV show with like a laugh track yeah. in the background. It kind of helps. He kind. I'm really uh, like. It makes me. It makes me uh, smile when he laughs at my like unfunny jokes that I say on the podcast. You'll just hear him laugh. I'm just like, damn. It feels was, good. Nice. Yeah, because sometimes things are only funny when somebody else is laughing. Yeah. yeah. Which and is it lets, why, it lets which us is why David laughs in all his videos, you know? It like helps it helps make shit funny. You gotta tell the not. people when to laugh. <laughs> but um it looks like we all got the um white memo today. Except for me. I know. We were trying to like give off like, you know, culty vibes. Oh, in the white light. The, I didn't even realize. Yeah, it looks like a Scientology building in here. <laughs> <laughs> with, especially we, with Jordan. Yeah, we, yeah. we also didn't get the less miserable. <laughs> 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 La miserable. Fucking less miserable, whatever the fuck I that. Feel less like, miserable. Less miserable fucking outfits today. Jordan, why are you wearing that today? It's his wardrobe. It's just, it's just what I feel comfortable in. I, I feel like you're wearing that kind of like w when I wear um, ugly shirts. It's my on debut. Purpose. It's my debut. I want it to look nice. But you do you? But, but do you, you? Do you look like? Did you look in the mirror and you're like, damn, this is really nice? Or you? You were? You, are you wearing it as almost like a joke? No, no. You know what? You know, no. I, I. You look like you're in I Hamilton. Do, I do. <laughs> it's like you straight I, up, like you hopped off of the stage. I think I look great. I think you look great too. It's just an unusual outfit to wear, like on a normal it's, day. It's, uh, I'm, it's I'm his work I, wardrobe. I'm really, I'm really trying to um, normalize this outfit because okay. it's unfair. Bring it back. It's, we're bringing it back. It's unfair that Western, uh, country Western yeah. has suck its decade long clothes yeah generation and it's still but, normal yeah. but we cannot bring back this victorian <laughs> outfit like i want to see it's true if somebody on everybody. Exactly. You, you know what you'd, you'd be you would have been perfect for my 200th video oh my god yeah. Oh, yeah you would have fit the part it, perfectly can I, it is so hot i would imagine <laughs> Now imagine having to like yeah. perform. Imagine how they felt. I really don't get how they walked around day to day, <laughs> like in the sun Impossible. with like 15 layers on. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. How. Do you think they were actually hot or were they just so used to it? It was respect. It was, yeah, it was just, it was stylish. It, 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 it was fashion. It could not be respectful when I'm showing up with like sweat. Well, well they had 15 layers. So if you sweat <laughs> through the first three, you're yeah. still good. Imagine I like you showed up in that time period awesome. wearing just a shirt and pants. Like what a would they think? People would, would be appalled. They'd be like, oh, I don't you think, think so. I don't know. I don't think t-shirts existed. It's they, crazy because t-shirts are so simple. Like I'm surprised that nobody thought, let's make a shirt that has Nothing yet. <laughs> I think it just covers your body and not we your- We just got lazier though. Yeah, I think it's just having like self pride, like dressing nice, yeah. always looking presentable. And now everybody just like wears sweats to, you know. The airport. Dinner, <laughs> everywhere. I, you know, I don't well, mind well, it. I well, love listen, wearing sweats. Listen, maybe, the... maybe that's just all we've seen them in. You know, we don't have pictures back then. Maybe they did. Yeah, maybe, they, they, true, maybe they only dressed up for photo you know, shoots. For and for every, videos, yeah. And then that's every nice. day they were just like kick back, yeah. fucking tank top. Honestly, Honestly who they knows? They were all wearing tank tops back But then there's that video where it's the children. Yes seeing a camera for the first time and they're all dressed. They look incredible. Amazing, yeah. But those are the only clothes they got for five years. That's it. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. They did wear like the, probably yeah. the same shit every day. Cause you know what? 
They their their grandma made it, and they just wore the same thing every day. Every day. Exactly. Yeah. It makes sense. Good for them. All right, well, I hope they're doing okay. I was just going to say, well, we're really excited to have you, Jordan, on today's episode. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Fuck Thank Matt you. for going to London. <laughs> Why is he and, there? Do we know? Probably um, a wedding. No, no, not not for a wedding, actually. He's there with his family. Just a family trip? Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Which is like crazy because like they've decided London. Right. You would think that they would go to like- Guess where we went for my family trip? Where? Florida. Florida. <laughs> All right. Fort Myers. I thought you were about to say Florence. <laughs> oh, no, we wish. Florida. No, that was my family's big vacation yeah. after 20 years. We're going to go to Florida. It's going to go to we're Florida. That's crazy. That's like people go to Florida for vacation. I know. My family Horrible. loves it. So I live where you vacation. No, <laughs> okay. not Florida. Not Florida. Okay, well, let's roll the intro, baby. Oh, do, oh you can't do even. You want, do you want me to run go. over? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you should <clears throat> run into it. <laughs> All right. Roll the intro, Jordan. It's coffee time. It's coffee time, baby. Woo! Jordan, all right, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan has no underwear on. Three sounds. I'm melting. That is exactly what anxiety sounds like. <laughs> yeah. What does it sound like in there? That's why I don't wear that. It sounded shit. like Family Feud, <laughs> our was, intro. Yeah, it was Family the Feud. The ice cream the truck. truck. Oh, it you was, put multiple sounds in wait, there? No, what you guys don't understand is that. Um, Can't hear you. <laughs> oh, those buttons are so sensitive. Like, they're like touch sensitive. So, like, they're not, like, if you press it, it'll work, but if you just, like, rub it, mm -hmm. it goes off. Got so, it. that's why you guys are That's what she said. I was panicking. I was in a panic. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, well, welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Jess Mariah. Yep, without Matt. And we got <laughs> Jordan today. <laughs> Woo! Jordan Ong. Hey. Yeah, Jordan Ong. If you guys didn't know, Jordan <laughs> has been with us for a few months now. You moved out here about six months ago. He uh, He's a friend of ours from high school, and then uh, I've always respected him creatively and I always thought he was a really funny person and he's a hard worker. So I was like, I want you to come out here and help with yeah, content. I feel very out of place right now. Cause you three have a 10, 15 year history. The thing is that were you friends with him in high school? Yeah. Like close with him. Yeah. That okay. Was his best friend. Cause Oh, you're best friends we were in, really high close in high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know if you were like really close or not in high school. I knew I knew you're in some of my classes. I don't know if we, we'd be considered like friends at all. I feel like <laughs> Jordan was like, <laughs> I remember. I was, saying, I was at all your birthday parties. <laughs> I, I, I thought we were. No, no, we, we were. I just, I, I feel like to me, friends is like when you hang out outside of school. We like never really hung no, out outside no, of school. I feel right. like we did a couple times when I was like close with Ashley. Remember Ashley Wilbur? Yeah. yeah. And she lived right across the street from him. So yeah. like we'd go over there sometimes, but that was like the only times I ever went to your go, house. Go pet his emus and yeah. tortoises and chickens. I mean, she was saying the same thing. She was talking all about his like backyard. I, I didn't believe it. I had to see it for myself. I love showing off his backyard. Yeah. It's literally the coolest thing in the world. I, I feel like we've talked about it on the podcast. We yeah. did. We, we, did. Did. we actually years. did go in, in depth yeah, and talk about we your entire backyard. Pictures, so go, go find it. It's <laughs> insane. Um, yeah, you live in a really cool spot. Yeah, he, he well, lives with- Not anymore. It's still my home. Yeah. Do you miss it? Oh, every every- Every single day. <laughs> give uh, so give us like you've been here for six months. Like tell us about yeah. Like, what's your, your time here? It is impossible to compare a lifetime in Florida than like six months in Cali. That like, makes it's sense. It's just impossible. Yeah. Yeah. But I I was telling Heath the other day that living in Florida prepared you for everything because because it, it's a really shit hole. because it is no mountains flat. Flat world. Yeah, flat there's world. Not, <laughs> there's just nothing to look forward to. So when you see like just Except Tennessee, the horizon. <laughs> anything else than Florida, it's yeah. like you cannot believe it. Yeah. yeah. Insane. Um, but just the other day I was in California and like I noticed like, oh, what? Wow, the mountains are in front of me and I'm not. You, like, it not doesn't have the same out. effect as when yeah. you first yeah. saw it. We were driving around when he first came out and he was just looking at the mountains it's like, I all. cannot believe this. Like you see this every day. Yeah, it's like a painting. My it it still like blows my mind. Out of my it looks head. like a fake backdrop. Yeah. 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 So the new war off already? Uh, it's a, a little, but like I, I remind myself, like I, I you just got to, He's got step into yeah. the backyard. So yeah, and he I, still hasn't seen the like really pretty sides that we want to take him I'm to. Sure. Like all the stuff that he would enjoy, like the botanical gardens. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, still has a lot to see. You do, you do visit a lot of places by yourself that I've noticed in your stories. Yeah. You love to just you just love to just escape and He'll go by yourself on his story. And I'm like, where the hell is I know, this? Like Thor too. Like I'll be, I'll see him walking through Korea. So I'm like, yeah. did you take a bus? I don't. You don't have a car here. And then and then he's over at um. Solvang 
and he's just like oh in the little God. Dutch town. Yeah. <laughs> the Dutch uh, town. But it, like, I love like, especially when you first, like the first like three weeks of you out here, I was going through your stories. I'm like, what is he gonna do today? Cause he was doing something every well, day. I was on my Taurus binge. You had to, I you have to, you have to see out. what you're like around, you know? Yeah. First time yeah, here, are you used everywhere. to the weather? I have, I'm speaking like, I, it's weird that I have to think like this, but like, I have to think like, wow, like, what do we refer to and want to hear? California's weather is insane. It's perfect. It's, perfect. Yeah. In, yeah. it's, it's definitely it's the best so weather. It's not just a Florida podcast, by the way. There's other people around the U.S. that listen to this. <laughs> 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 He's speaking to the Florida. I'm, I'm speaking to 954. Like, Jordan, right. Jordan, there's people from Solvang listening, listening to this. Right there's people yeah. from like Australia listening right now. I want to thank them in all their languages. <laughs> oh. Starting with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but before we continue the podcast, we want to let you know that the Zila Cremota collab, the protein and the pre-workout is back in stock, Ow! baby. After being sold out for a week and a half, you guys had it sold out in literally three days. Yeah, it was insane. And thank you guys for supporting. Thank you. And we didn't know how to bring it back, but we are able to bring it back, but it is a limited supply. Promise you yes, the limited so supply. So if you, if you want it. it, and if you missed it, please go to the website right now. If you're listening to this, if you're the first viewers of this podcast, go buy it. Make sure you're the one to get it before it sells out. Yeah, zelafitness.com. It's releasing on the 23rd. It comes out the second this goes live. Okay, it's cool. Up. Again, that's at zelafitness.com. And you can get either the protein by itself, the pre-workout, or you can get the bundle. That's right. And thank you guys again for watching the documentary and showing us all some love. Yeah. Uh, we really appreciate it. And we've we've been seeing all your reviews. You guys are loving it, and it makes us so happy that you guys It's so cool to see people finally trying it. Yeah. yeah. It's sick. Feels Did you really try cool. it? How do you like it? I we try, love we actually it. we we were making um we were making like, like, like a pudding. pudding. We were making pudding from it last night and it was amazing. Mm. I like, I want the pre-workout in a candle scent. It is yes. so oh, yeah. good. Good idea. Interesting. So good. Ellie, you heard that? Bella, Alex, take notes. <laughs> Zila candles. Zila why candles. why stop there? Are you comfortable now? You've it, been in this room for like it, six it, months it, now. It's so weird. I, I'm like, when did it start? What when when does it start? And it just started. It just starts whenever. Just feels, you know yeah, how yeah. it is. You click that button yeah. and we just yeah. go. It, it just goes it just when it goes. Start, Baby, really no good. structure over here. <laughs> Maybe we don't plan a thing. How's your Florida trip? It Ooh. was amazing. Raya, it was exhausting, but it was so much fun. Yeah, it was. It was so much fun. And it went so much smoother than we thought it would. So yeah. if you guys remember, we were promoting the uh, Florida trip that we were doing. We had four stops with Total Wine to put uh, a meet and greet together for happy hour. Yeah. We did the locations and the turnout was amazing. Everybody was so sweet and it was just a really good time. Yeah, my favorite part about meeting everybody was um, peop, um, a, a lot A lot of you guys were saying how you've been watching us since uh, since 2012. 2012, so, and they, so were, and they were young, it's and they were young, crazy. so they like grew up with us. Oh, yeah, After 12 God. years getting to meet us for the first time, that was so fun to see, and they were like older now. They were like fucking yeah, 25, 26. It's and insane. You, you held one's baby. Yeah, yeah. we went viral for God. holding a baby, baby at the meetup. <laughs> I was melting. It was unbelievable. And it was just, there, like, I watched the video again, and there was nothing like special about it. I it was just such a normal well it video. Yeah. <laughs> It like Obviously, didn't make it was sense cute, to me. but the amount of it went like, it went viral. Like I dropped it. No, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, right. yeah. It went viral yeah. like that. It had a whole backstory. Like it was that, crazy. You, that baby was named Heath. She named it after you. Right, yeah. like they were taking it to meet you. Like insane. Honestly, it like made me feel good when I saw. I was like, I oh too. my god, people like us still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we got going on, but it's something. I know. It, it did feel really nice, but yeah. um. Just to go over the whole trip, timeline wise, we um, we uh, our first stop was in Orlando, so we flew yeah. straight to Orlando. Was that the most and packed? I'm guessing. Yes. yes, that was like 900. There was like 900 people at Orlando, and I don't know how we were able to get it done in three hours. Or, I know. Or no, yeah, we got it done in that was like three, three and, three and a half, half hours. Three, three and a half hours. You met everyone. Everybody. So and like, it wasn't like picture go. It was like, yeah. we actually got to like hang out but and yeah. talk. This is how it went. So obviously the first like <laughs> five, 600 people, we were really taking our time. We wanted to meet everybody. We had like, this is our first like me and Gree. We haven't seen any of these people for our entire life. So we were taking our sweet time with everybody. And then it got to the point where we had a flight at like 6.30 that we had to make to fly to Miami. <laughs> to go, go, go. And, and it got to like, 
so we were at 30 minutes like past our time that yeah. we had to leave and we all looked at each other and we look at the line and there's still about a hundred people left oh, and we're like what the hell are we gonna do we have to make this flight there's no more flights left and we can't just leave everybody that would just be horrible so we, <laughs> so we had to like run the line we had to run the line just selfie 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 we felt so oh, bad it, it, at least so you tried quick. though at least you didn't just leave yeah we did know? get to have a moment with everybody which was nice so we didn't leave anybody hanging yeah and everybody that's a got lot, almost a thousand people i crazy. cannot imagine that we weren't like we we were expecting like maybe 400 at, right. the, yeah. at the Orlando stop and we didn't cap it, which we probably should have done just so, because if you do too <laughs> yeah, many yeah, people, yeah. then you're gonna like, you're, right. you're um, uh, you run you run the risk of not being able to have that interaction with everybody. Exactly, right. with everybody. And, but like the other stops was great. It was like really, but we'll get to that. But, um, so we pack our stuff and we zoom out. We're like, we gotta go. We hop in the car and then they just start. We, we're like, sir, you can drive as fast as you want. <laughs> How exciting. And he's like, I'm not driving fast. And oh, so I was like, oh, we're gonna miss this flight. So we are driving. We finally get to the airport. Airport's like yeah. what, like an hour away or like 30 minutes away? What was it? I think it was like 45 away. 45 minutes away. We get there and it's a zoo. It's like, a zoo at the this, airport. This airport was insanely packed. I, I think it's like one of the biggest airports in, and, I feel like in America, right? <laughs> what, and what, massive. What, what airport is this? Uh, this was at uh, Tampa. It was Orlando. We were flying to Miami. Oh, then we left from Tampa the next one. Yeah, that was uh, the next one. That was the next yeah, one. Yeah, Orlando's uh, big. This was from Orlando. And it was... It, it, it was a madhouse, like so many people. And it was just really confusing. So we're like, all right, we just got to run. We got to get in line. We get all the way to the front of the line and the boarding passes that we have didn't scan. Of they were like, course. you have to go print these out. And we're like, we're literally going to miss this flight. And, and the thing is that we couldn't wait in line. So you know how they have clear? Yeah. Cl if you guys don't know what clear is, clear is this like, it's this pretty much fast pass <laughs> where you go, yeah. you scan, and then they, like, you, you skip like the line. It's like unlocking your phone with face, exactly. face ID. So, and the, the way they promote it is beautiful. Yeah. They're all they're all up in there when the airport is packed and they're just like, would you like to skip the line today with the clear? Yes, Jesus. I would. It's, I know, right? Yeah. It's crazy. So we get there and the, our passes aren't scanning. Like for some reason, like the sprint passes weren't scanning. We're like, we're gonna miss our flight, but we're really trying to make this work. We're all like signing up for clear. We're like, we have to make this flight because we're gonna we're gonna end up spending more money buying another flight than yeah. just getting this clear membership and paying for the year. So and during the, this, the guy that was helping us, he was like, You're not gonna make your flight. You might as well just oh, say screw it now and oh, just go get a new man. flight. He like wasn't helping us. Like he really did not want to help us try to make the flight. Like you would think that they would oh try to God. at least sign you up, make me yeah. make your commission, and then if we miss it, we miss it. But like he was just such a downer where he's just like you're not gonna, you're not gonna make your flight. You might as well don't even just, bother. Don't even bother. And we're like, so Heath and I were like, we felt defeated. I can't believe yeah. we let this guy just he make almost, the decision. He for almost us. controlled our life for that. <laughs> exactly. Night. And we 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 left and our, uh, we were with Charlie. Charlie's part, part like one of our good friends, part of Happy Hour. She's running, trying to make this work, getting the boarding passes from the running back. She's like, no, let's go, let's 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 make this flight. So we run back. We all get, we all uh, sign up. This was after like five yeah. minutes, five ten minutes wow. after the guy said that. We start. Sprinting. Charlie's asking everybody, can we skip them? They're like, nope, we're about to miss our that, flight too. Charlie's, them Florida she, people she's do like not. She's like this tiny little thing, but she's a boss bitch. No, but oh, she, yeah. was like, she was like, no, you just have to ask. I'll get us to the front. Oh, yeah. And I was like, okay, like if you think you can. Oh, she no. was like, we're about to miss our flight. Can we get in front of you? And they were like, no. no. <laughs> and then she was like, that was weird. Let me try again. So she went to another person. It usually works. Like and the shit works for Charlie Literally every time. tried like three people and she was like, wow, Florida is different. <laughs> uh, so we literally had to wait in the TSA line. So we're like oh sitting there. We're like, oh my gosh. God, we got to go. We got to go. Florida is different, so especially at the airport. I put mine in first. I was like, I am, whatever I do, I'm going to sprint. Because we had to catch a train to get to our terminal. Yeah. Oh. So I'm like, oh my God, we're this, so This door is going to close on us in like two minutes. And we're like in the TSA line. So I throw my stuff in. I get through. I grabbed it. And I'm like throwing my backpack on as I'm running. And I get onto the train. The door shuts right behind me. Right so behind he's like, just go, just go, just go. He said, we'll grab your bag. Just oh, yeah. run, and run. And just tell them there's two people running or yeah. something. So I get on the train, take it all the way down. I get off and I'm just sprinting to the <laughs> gate. And I see the lady, like she's about to close this shit. It's done. And oh, I'm like, oh I'm God. like, no, no, no. And she's like, all right, what, what, like, give me your boarding pass. She's like, let's make this work. And I'm like this. I'm like, my boarding pass. No! <laughs> I left it with them oh. and I'm like, oh my God. So what she's like, name, name, name. And I'm sitting there. She's oh, typing she it in. She was helping you out. She's like, uh, she prints the boarding pass. She's like, all right, get in. And I'm like, wait, I have two more oh. people. She was like, <laughs> 
<laughs> she looks around. She's like, where are they? And I'm like, they're probably on the train right now. They're almost here. She just was wait. supposed please to close it at this time. Like this oh, is probably yeah, a minute to end. I was like, please just wait. So I'm calling in. I'm like, where are you? Where are you? He's like, I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> so she's like, we got to go. We got to go. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, please just hold it. Just You're wait. Like, Charlie's on your back. You're like, <laughs> oh, no. You, as soon as we got to that lane where the train is, we, we didn't see Heath. And we both were screaming because we're like, he made it. Yeah. Like all we needed him to do was make that train yeah. because once you miss it, there goes five minutes. There goes that plane, right. baby. Yeah, because the trains come every so often. That's yeah. So um, but funny. then all of a sudden they come running up and she's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then they get on and we're like, holy shit, we You're made not going to believe the airline that this was. I got to give it up to him. Spirit. <laughs> it was spirit. They saved our lives. I fuck with spirit now. I really do. Spirit now wow. is on, it's, it's is, on my favorite flight. They, uh, favorite I, flight I have, they stepped it up the they past did. As soon as they years. got bought by JetBlue, they said, <clears throat> yo, attitude <laughs> change. Yeah, they put on a tie, some dress shoes. Honestly, and then we got on the plane. Planes looking nice, too. Oh, it's like sexy now. Well, right? no, no, it wasn't the black seats. I think it was a JetBlue plane that they yeah. gave to Spirit. Oh, wait. So is JetBlue buying them? JetBlue yeah, bought, bought Spirit. Them. Oh, wow. wow. Our favorite airline bought Spirit. Oh, that's and, oh. and that was like the perfect time to really, like it was for us, like they yeah. really needed our approval. But like in that moment, right after JetBlue buying Spirit, Spirit doing that for us. They, I just changed, like, they changed up real that's quick. That's like JetBlue adopting like an abandoned child. Yeah. yeah. And Je oh, Honestly, I can't. I can't wait story. to see where Spirit goes. I can't wait to straight see straight to heaven. Straight, <laughs> it's gonna be a spirit, spirit in the heaven, sky, baby. baby. Yep. Yeah, but like, dude, we we're on the plane. Flight attendants were super nice. Flight attendant even gave me like free snacks because you know you have to buy everything on the plane. Okay, uh, yeah. okay. He, she gave him free snacks because his credit card wouldn't run. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it wasn't running. But they let it slide. <laughs> they just came up. They started giving me free they snacks. Let it, <laughs> they, let they, they let it slide. They let it, they let it slide. It wasn't That's running, funny. but they let it slide. But she was like, I got you. Yeah, she was real sweet. I was like, dang, they really flipped this bitch upside down. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. They, you know, they get so much shit, but then they come back at some moments. They're gonna, they're that gonna was be... the plan. That was the yeah. plan. Uh, but yeah, so we, we ended up getting on the flight. We made it. We get to Miami and uh, from Miami would have to drive up to the Palm Beach Gardens location. But we were... Tired. Just dead. Beat. Uh, so we stayed in and watched a movie, got some snacks. Man. We... Uh, oh, we we went out to eat at that crazy steakhouse restaurant. Yeah, that was nice. Heath, Heath and I like so Heath and I could have easily got separate rooms for this entire trip, but we got the same room. We got we both <laughs> we booked nice. double beds for the whole that's, weekend. That's, that's fun, great. Because normally we get our we get each a room, but yeah. like for some reason we were just like you know what let's just like enjoy this weekend that's and let's cute. just like be roommates. But there nothing like I didn't like that was like my favorite night was us going to that vending machine in the hotel, getting sodas, <laughs> oh diet sodas, getting all these snacks and just sitting in the bed. What, what, what snacks are we talking about? I'm gonna what sodas okay, are we I got I got something to say here. So my yeah. favorite snack growing up was a big Texas. The you know that big ass cinnamon. Oh yeah, from, from remember in uh, in high school, the big Texas and the vending oh, machines. I, I know them, oh, yeah. you remember that. I know I know them. It is massive. What's that? It's like a, a cinnamon roll with like icing drizzled on it. And I just remember them being like the greatest snack of all time. So it was, could be bad sometimes though. You have to get it when it's like the vending machine has to be hot. This, you know when it's hot mm -hmm. <laughs> and it melts everything? Don't get chocolate, <laughs> but get the big Texas because it melts that cinnamon roll. The this plastic shit was, has to be stuck on. To exactly. the it, there's got to be like, uh, like yeah. <laughs> humidity in the yeah. bag. Yeah. So you know that shit is right. Um, but I got it and it was fucking terrible and I was so disappointed. Oh wait, you oh, didn't tell bad. me. I remember you telling oh, me it was no. terrible. I didn't want to say it out loud because I didn't want no to come to come to grips with it. No, yeah. it was hard. It was cold mm. and it was pretty cold in that yeah. hallway. Uh, I was really disappointed because I hadn't had one in so many years. So I was like, I just, you know, it was a, but you all, but like, you got to think no one's probably buying that big tech on that vending machine. So, you know, that shit was probably sitting there while they're replacing everything. You'd else. Be, where was this? Florida. That shit moves. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was, <laughs> that shit moves. No, wait, Jordan. It was Miami though. That shit's not moving to Miami. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not in my, not in the Miami, Miami hotel Miami, we're no, in. No, that's our Broward. That yeah, that's moving in Broward. Broward the yeah. malls, the high schools, they, they are pushing Keeping product color, yeah. out. Yeah, they are Miami's pushing P. It, <laughs> yeah. no, it's it's crazy. Those vending machines are making so much money. I love vending that's machines. That's your lunch. It's your school lunch. Like your mom gives you uh, like three quarters, and what are you buying? You're not going to the cafeteria. You're going to the vending machine. Oh, it's not. Jordan, 
Jordan, you're, it's, it's work. Sorry, guys, this is his first podcast. Hey, Felipe. My man is still working. <laughs> hey, I gotta respect. I can't I can't be mad. <laughs> Thanks. All right, we're gonna all right. Um uh, uh, run we'll, to the we'll, commercial break. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, SeatGeek. If you don't already know, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets to live events super simple. And we've got the apps on our phones, and it's by far the best way to buy tickets. SeatGeek looked at all the data, and it turns out you guys love seeing Bad Bunny, Stevie Lacey, Harry Styles, and Kendrick Lamar, all of which are on tour right now. It's funny, we had all of our stops in Florida with Happy Hour, and like half the line was talking about how they were going to see Bad Bunny. And you know what they weekend. used to get their tickets with? Seat Geek, baby. And Seat Geek wants to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good and red means not the best deal. Calm down, baby. Don't worry. We've got the hookup for you, baby. Use code unfiltered for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Again, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code unfiltered. And make sure to click the link in our description to download the app. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. And thank you for being the best ticketing app possible, baby. All right. So where were we? Oh. We drop. We go to Peach uh, Peach Palm Gardens. Peach Palm Gardens. Peach Palm <laughs> Gardens. We go to Palm Beach Garden. A lot of you were there too. I loved that. Lo so every it was funny. So every we went to four total wines, and each location was like different. Yeah, uh, the staff members were different. You everyone kinda, had their own like little culture. layout. Yeah, a little it was layout. Sick. You saw how like each of them ran their stores. My favorite location was Palm Beach Garden. The way they ran that store was like, like a, a fucking SSR shit. shit. Oh, it was yeah? insane. I loved the owner of that location. He, he was, was so good. running it. That was definitely the smoothest meet, meet and greet I've ever so done in my entire life. So were these life. total wines um, rented to you guys for the day or was it still customers coming in so, and out? So there was customers coming in and out, but the way they have it set up. So we realized, uh, cause they picked the locations of which one we were going to. Um, we were like, we should do a Miami one, but they basically pick stores that would be big enough to hold all these people right. while letting people shop. And it's not like oh, right, crazy. Right, right. Yeah. Um, so these locations were like, one of them was brand new. Like they were insane. They were huge. Yeah. Uh, it, it, so people could shop and walk around. And then we had like the line that would go inside around. They would do a tasting, get to try happy hour, that's so fun. do like a whole sample thing. And then the line would make its way around to us. That's fun. Um, it's so funny. People were like uh, uh, tweeting at total wine, like of the line outside. And they're like, what the hell is going on at Total Wine? I'm trying to get my Jack Daniels. Wait, because it's that's like, funny. It, it, that's a crazy thing to see in Port Charlotte. It's like, yeah. what the hell is Anywhere. this line? Yeah. It was really funny seeing like, like a line funny. at a liquor store. Like unheard what of. just like, dropped? <laughs> like a GameStop, maybe. <laughs> a midnight release. <laughs> a GameStop, maybe. That's funny. It was like a Halo, too. So meeting everybody was great, you know, but there was, there was a few people that like, I just remember. <laughs> <laughs> or like they're very memorable. Oh, some standouts. There's yeah. some standouts. <laughs> one, the one that stood out to me was uh, this girl. I forgot her name, but she, the, th like, this is like one of the only things she says. She's like, Zane, you're not gonna believe it. The first time I saw you, it was Fourth of July, and you were shaking your ass in the back of a beach <laughs> Malibu party <laughs> while I was on a boat. <laughs> Oh and, I, and I noticed you. And she looked over and saw the beach house because it was like right on the water. And she saw somebody shaking their ass like on the balcony and was like, what is that? And was like, oh my God, is that Zane? Why? And it was because I specifically remember that moment. I was on the edge of that balcony shaking my ass. Wow. And I remember that moment really specifically. Wild. And it's crazy when she said that, I knew exactly what she was talking about. Nuts. That's funny that both of you locked that memory in. Yeah. That's really funny. Really nutty. The, uh, that was hilarious. The other thing that was funny, the girl that took a picture of Hadaya's car on the road. Oh my God. Yeah, she found Hadaya's car. With the decal? With the that decal. That's funny. She saved it from like a year ago. I was like, when was it? Because I because she sold the car, so I didn't know if yeah. it was like now or before, but she had to save for a year to show. So yeah. cool. That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it looked even uglier on Iconic. that girl's phone, man. <laughs> so after that location, we ended up going back to Miami and spent the night and then went to Sarasota the next day. And it's so funny because in all these locations, people are like, what are you doing here? Like they were just like shocked that oh, we were yeah. in their area. Yeah. Um, but Sarasota apparently has like the craziest, most beautiful beaches in the world. Really? Um, yeah. 
and there's a TV show or something called Siesta Key. Siesta Key. Key. Ooh. Um, but yeah, so apparently like the beaches are insane. They're like, everybody's like, you gotta go to the beach. Uh, we didn't end up having time to go to the beach. We had no time to do anything um, other than these stops. But Sarasota is so interesting to me because it, it seems like a place where everybody goes to retire. It, Cause it Either, is. <laughs> <laughs> that's it exactly was, what it is. That's what it but is. But it was also like a really pretty like city too. It was gorgeous. Yeah, it was gorgeous. <laughs> it was so and, funny cause everywhere we went, it was, Older people dressed really nice at dinner. Like everybody, oh, I love it was that. really cute <laughs> because we were looking like the places that we were going to. I don't, not, not that they weren't the nicest restaurants, but it was like, oh, honey, you do not got to get that dressed up for, <laughs> for this. Maybe you in Sarasota. Like, like imagine people like decked out at an Olive Garden, Denny's? like they're like fully done up. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but it was respectable. I was like, that's really nice. Like all the, the like whole that. family, all the but kids Olive were dressed Garden up. does that. Like, they did that in the sun. Olive Garden's be looking nice inside. Like, it's hard. Do you remember growing up and when you got to that age where you can go out to eat with your friends? Do you remember Cheesecake Factory being the place you would dress it, up it and was go all, to? I always dressed yes. up for oh, Cheesecake the Factory. The girls would wear the, I still do. the pencil skirts with the blouse and yep. all the jewelry and the wedge heels. Yup. Because it's like it was the nicest restaurant that we had in yeah. the area. It, it was, was like nice. that was like a yeah. top that tier was the restaurant. Sistine Chapel. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. And then we had Jay, Jay Alexander's. That was, was it. That Jay was if you were like a, not a cut even, above. And not even that great food, but like it was. It looked fancy. It was just. It's just the price point. As soon as you get into like that forty dollars steak, you know, yeah. what I mean? then it's like okay, we're putting on a <laughs> yeah. we're, we're putting on a yeah. sport coat. That stop was our longest stop. Yeah, we so every stop we had three hours. This stop, we didn't even notice. Like we didn't look at our time. Six hours. You didn't notice you doubled. Well, we weren't. We weren't on our phone. We weren't you like know, checking anything. It was yeah, because like I didn't hear from any of yeah. you the entire so any time. Any of you the entire time. Yeah, no, we didn't look at our phone at all. But <laughs> did you hear from any of them? I didn't hear. I didn't them. hear. I didn't hear. Not them. single. No, it was <laughs> not even a hello. No, not a goodbye. <laughs> you, I don't think you understand how exhausted we were, but we pushed through. We looked like we weren't exhausted. We at held it. All. Yeah. I, I picked you guys up from the airport. You guys were dead. <laughs> dead. This man. <laughs> Zane, yeah, you guys do a good job of keeping your energy though. Yeah. I think it's like the energy that they give you, you you just like- We feed off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We But we did sleep at every possible moment we could wow. throughout that whole time, but we didn't sleep that night in Sarasota. That was a fun night. Because we wanted to we wanted to explore like downtown. So we went downtown. We're like, let's see what They're Sarasota is all about. Let's see what they baby. got. We heard like some people in the line were going to like a certain, uh, like certain bar. So we're just like, let's just like stop in. And like, we, there was no intention of us. Like, see like what the locals do. Yeah, we wanted to see what the locals did. Exactly. It's so, Sarasota. I know. What, what are they doing? What, so we were. Yeah, well, we're, there was like the, the little like bar strip, kind of like downtown Fort Lauderdale, yeah. but okay. like not as big. Um, and it was just like kind of like little local bars. And the first one we went into, they had a live band and they were, they were really good. <laughs> It was just like these old guys that, I, I don't even know how to explain them, but they were just like having a good time on stage and everybody cleared the center area. Yeah. And it was just like 60 year old women just yeah, it was like it, treating it like they were at a concert. And I respected that so much because most people look at like a, like a cover band and they're just like, okay, cool. Somebody's playing in the background, but they treated it like it was John Bon Jovi yeah, out there. It was <laughs> just, it was, it was so interesting. You know that movie Barb and Marge go to La Vista. What's that movie? Barb. And, I don't know. Do you know that movie I'm no. talking about? With, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, it was that movie where these two ladies, like mid middle aged ladies, they want to have a vacation and they they are Barb and Marge and they go to <laughs> they go to they go to the key what like I forget what that movie is, but it reminded me of that and it was just so funny. It was just it was so just different. really entertaining to like yeah. people watch. So we went there. We just had a shot. We're like you know let's loosen up. Let's whatever. We go from there to another bar and we're like, oh, this is the bar Brewster's. This is where some people said in the line that they were going to. So we walked in. Oh no. Second meet and greet. Back. It <laughs> pretty much was. was. Heath and I are getting to the getting to the bar. We're like, let's just get one drink and get out of here. Let's like, let's just like make stops and then go home because we, we had another meet and greet the next day. So we get to the line and this kid turns around, right? He has his name on his shirt. And we're like, <laughs> hey, how are you doing? He's like, no way. He pulls out this thing. I thought it was a breath. He's like, y'all, we're gonna get crazy tonight. And we're like, what is that? And I thought he was gonna, he was about to put it in my mouth to like 
just to see what my alcohol, like whatever yeah. was. I'm like, I'm not putting that in my mouth. And then I see a flash go off and I was like, oh God. He it was a GoPro a with God. all these attached. It was like, it had like a light built on. And Wait, what? Light goes on. I was like, uh oh. He puts it up. He's like, in the What's middle. What's up, baby? It's <laughs> Zayda Heath. And oh, the whole no. bar starts turning. I was just like, oh, no, no, please don't. Like, and I then people people that like knew that. us started freaking out. And then people that didn't were giving us the nastiest looks. This guy looked at me and he was like, oh, ooh. It's the nasty looks like, oh, that like, God. freak oh, my God. out. It gives and me so much. And you guys get embarrassed. You guys don't really like so a lot of attention, believe this it or not. in Sarasota? Yeah. 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 No, I only, safe. Attention's only nice when like it's set up, like the meet and greet. Structured. It's structured. Yeah. It's like, it's it's great. But like in a situation like that, when like somebody so screams funny. like that, it's like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. And, and I looked at Heath and I was like, we should get out of here. Let's just get oh, out of here. Because so we, we at that moment, I my heart just starts racing. I'm just like, oh, fuck, I'm about to have a freak out. Yeah. We, we, started just, we started backpedaling and just walked out. We went to another spot and they were like, oh, it's a $10 cover charge. And I was like, I'm not paying to go in somewhere. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, Screw this. How we skipped that $10 cover charge. I was like, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like, but like, yeah, apparently much. a lot of places there have a cover charge. So we just I kept walking like people there. and there was one last spot and we're like, all right, let's just go in there before we walk back. So we go to walk in and we get in line and they're like, it's a $20 cover charge. I'm like, 20. you've got to be kidding. Nerve. And I, I was like, what is this, I Vegas? looked at Dan and I was like, it must be good if they're going to charge 20 We look bucks. inside, we're like, let's just check it out. Let's so just we, pay we the paid the cover, we walked in and it was pretty <laughs> empty. And we're like, oh, this is interesting. Cool venue. Um, apparently it's a like a Mexican restaurant during the day. And then once a week, uh, they open it up and have like a DJ party, whatever. Saturday nights, only one night of the week they have like a like a, a, a club. fiesta. A yeah. Fiesta. Uh, so we just go in there and we're in there for like twenty minutes. Um, a couple people recognize us, and then the owner walks out and was like, "Hey, what's going on? I want to introduce myself." And I was like, "Oh, hi, nice to meet you." We started talking with him. Did he look familiar to you? I swear, well, I've seen that dude. What's so weird is that he's friends with Mike's older sister and knows them from Pennsylvania. So. I have a friend, Mike, that I went to high school with. Yeah. And they started talking. So weird. And the guy is, said he moved from Pennsylvania. So Heath, obviously, I trained him well. <laughs> as soon as I hear Florida, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, I start name dropping. Gotta know somebody. So he went into like that zone and... He said, oh, my girlfriend is from Allentown, like blah, blah, blah. And he said, what school did she go to? And he said, my high school. And he goes, oh, I have friends from that school. Does she know Casey? And he goes, oh, Mike's sister? And he's like, yeah. So it's such a, such small, a small world. world. Insane. But what was so fun about that night is we uh, we pitched our first bar. Yep. To happy hour. So we, we made like good oh, with him. And that... he saw that people, you know, were acknowledging us and was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. Um, made the connection and then we got him product and hopefully we're going to have happy hour at his bar. That'd be really cool. Be our, our first bar, our first bar in Sarasota. That would be, be crazy. so sick. It'd be so fun. But that place, that like after 30 minutes, that place was packed oh, yeah, yeah. It was to the brim. And I looked at Heath and I looked at the owner. I was like, how, how is everybody paying 20? Like people are paying $20 to come in here. He's like, yeah. I'm like, that's insane. Like insane. that's insane. People are paying twenty dollars just to be in here. It's so cool. At. Spot to be at. What is it called? La Cochina Mexicana. If you're in uh, Marisota, I think that was it. Marisota. If you're in Marisota, make sure to check that oh out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Peach bomb guardian. <laughs> <laughs> Hang out there for a little while. Talk to the guy, and then we ended up leaving because we had to wake up early and then go to the Port Charlotte location. Oh, I also, before we continue, I met a girl there that was, was going to be Kristen McAtee's roommate before she moved out to LA. What in the world? So they were, they were gonna be roommates, but Kristen ended up moving to LA. They were roommates. They were they gonna were, be and they roommates. Were, and they were gonna be roommates. Small world. So uh, that interaction and that one, I'm like, damn, we're in Sarasota. This is insane. But yeah, beautiful city. <laughs> Everybody was really nice. And then we went to Port Charlotte the next day. Mm -hmm. That one also, great turnout. Everybody was really sweet. That was actually the biggest location that I've ever that seen. That was, yeah, that one was really, really nice. Yeah, which is strange because it's Port Charlotte. Everybody in line was also well, like, that was, why the hell That was the Port newest Charlotte? one. That was recently yeah, just built. The newest so it was one. brand new. It was really sick. Yeah. Uh, that one went really smooth as well. One person that I remember in line in Port Charlotte was, uh, he came up to me and immediately diagnosed me. Oh yeah, he was a psychiatrist. He was a psychiatrist, but like he was, he seemed younger. He wasn't like older. It wasn't like an adult. It was like a younger dude. And he was just like, let me tell you what you have. He goes, I'm not going to sit here and like diagnose you like this. He goes, but I watch a lot of the podcasts and I've been watching you for a really long time. 
Um, so I'm just going to give you my two cents and obviously take with it what you want. Um, but I just felt like I needed to share. He goes, so as I've been watching you, uh, there's a couple things that I think you have. He goes, the first thing is schizophrenia. And oh, then he goes, you also have borderline personality disorder. Borderline personality. Okay. And then the Checks third out. thing was um, savant uh, savant syndrome or yeah, something well, like I, that. I still, I, I asked him what that was and I forgot. Basically like a, like a savant is... Like you're you're really really talented at something, right? Because like an idiot that's savant a, that, that's is somebody that's a nice that, way to give you bad news. Yeah, but he all but after he said all that, he yeah, was like, "But your body beat it, so you don't have <laughs> schizophrenia." I was like, "Huh?" What does that He's mean? like, "You have successfully beat your schizophrenia." I was like, "Huh? What do you mean?" It's yeah, so I, crazy that I, he I wish I remember. I wish I remember exactly how he, he it like, was. It was something it. he phrased it something like he that. He said, "But you're like in control, yeah. of yourself. Your body has it, but you're able to control it." Okay, uh, no, I can, I, I can see that. That stuck with me for about ten minutes. I can see that. I know. I, I understand what he's saying. We should yeah. all actually go sit down with psychiatrists and just be like, "What is wrong with us?" I know. We that's, should. That's my. I know me and Mariah. Definitely. I got my brother on the line. <laughs> yeah, we your brother's a psychiatrist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you have him call? Yeah. yeah well, he needs him. to. He needs to like have a they, sit they, down with us. They only give you bad news. I, yeah, they really do. It's, <laughs> they're yeah. never like you're yeah, actually you're good. <laughs> good. But yeah, no, but it they was try a, to help you, and they're great people, and they, and they do a good job at what they do. Overall, everything went really, really smoothly. Was amazing, and thank you to everybody who came out. There was a lot of patrons that we had come out. Oh which was yeah, really, a lot really cool of patrons, Patreon oh, cool. members were there, so that was really exciting to see. Yeah. Um, oh, we went to that. Uh, remember that rooftop bar that everybody's raving oh, about? Oh my god! We went to this rooftop bar after yes, the Sarasota Mexican bar, and we're like. Let's just check it out. Everybody has been raving about this. Everybody's place. like, you gotta go here. It is like the highest, like like the fancy bougie the spot. Hot spot. So we're like, okay. okay, let's just see what it looks like. We go up, it's like a hotel rooftop bar. We're like walking in like, oh damn, this is gonna be really nice. So we get to the top, <laughs> walk in and I'm just like, okay, this is a Ooh. weird vibe. <laughs> it was uh, just not, it was not it, nice. It looks like what Florida thinks a high-end rooftop bar would be. Should look if like. that makes okay. sense. Feed it to me. Yeah. Um, um, oh, yeah. I'll feed it to you. I'll try to feed it to you. I'm trying to think of another. I'm th that, You know what that looked like to me? Uh, somebody's balcony. Like, a, in, like a, a, in a house. Like, if, like imagine David's balcony. He, like, uh, put a bar in there. Okay. It just, it, it's, it wasn't set up Classic. like a. Uh, uh, it was like, uh, you, you know, <laughs> you've been to, like, your friends that live in apartment complexes that have, like, a barbecue on the rooftop. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I have a rooftop. And there's kind of like. Yeah, that was the vibe. A, a little, like, kind of like that. Um, I use Dave, by the way, I'm using David's house. I know it's a mansion, but like, there's just nothing in his balcony. Yeah, it's, it's, just some, it's concrete. It's just con exactly. Yeah. It's just it was just concrete, and it wasn't like a nice, stylish concrete. And it, it could have been concrete. it could have been the clientele that was there. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, there yeah. was there was this guy like so there was also like a little pool uh, on the rooftop. That's this nice. place didn't know what it wanted to be. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. it was all over the place. So, so there's this guy who's like this big burly dude, tatted up, and he's rocking the smallest. Speed Speedo you could possibly imagine, <laughs> but he's going around and he's harassing. What time was it? This was probably like one in the morning. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was in a Speedo? One in thirty. A speedo, it was at one thirty. yeah. Harassing everybody, like going up, being like obnoxious. I was like, what? Where are we? I'm looking around. There's people doing like the running man in front of this DJ who's at a, a desk this size. And he's just like, we got girls in their outfits, full on outfit, girls in dresses, just jumping in the pool. Like People, this is at a rooftop bar. Guys in suits walking into the pool in a suit. <laughs> like it was the most bizarre thing I've we, ever seen. We were all looking at each other like, what the hell is this place? And nobody's like, paying mind to anybody. Like it was just like it was casual. Like it was, it was a thing to do. Yeah, like, like, like you were at someone's backyard. Like it right. just didn't feel right. It was so interesting. Oh, and the manager was Wait, a dick. You guys, you guys sound like the odd ones out. I mean, you we guys were definitely the odd we, ones yeah. out. Why didn't you guys join in, live a little? It was hard to join in <laughs> to something like that. It, I, f I just felt like everybody was off the rocker. The one bartender was really nice and we tried to give him a tip. Uh, and oh, he was scared of the manager. He was so scared of the manager. Uh, we were like, do you get your own tips? And he was like, I, like, because it was no, his birthday. To, it was, yeah, it was yeah. his birthday. So we wanted to give him uh, like a nice tip. And uh, we were like, we want to give this to you, but we want it to go directly to you. So he was like, okay, thank you. Um, and then the manager walked away for a second and we we're like, here, here, here. And he was, and he like put it in his pocket. Aww. And then the manager like came like, 
like this, and it was it was just I, weird. I thought he threw it like he ended up throwing it in the. In the I don't in know the if cup. he ended up putting Manager's it in there. Manager's gonna look at the camera. Oh, he's definitely a type to look in the camera oh. for sure. I think oh, it's because yeah. he's a nooner. What's a nooner? <laughs> a That's nooner. what I. He's they drink high noon. High noon. So they call them. They call them. They call them nooners. Yeah. So we're like we're asking what seltzer. Heath and I were a businessman. We were pitching, pitching, pitching to all these. Bars. We're we're getting happy hour in every bar. Yeah. Every that's, nightclub. That's our, that's our goal for wow. this season. Is to get it everywhere. We're gonna turn because him from it is a, the best drink in the from world. a nooner to a happy hour uh, person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next day we have to go back to the airport to fly back to LA. We get in the car and we have to catch this ride at I think it was four thirty in the morning. We called the ride. We we stayed up all night. We're like, screw it. We'll just stay up. We'll sleep on the plane because um, we only could have like slept for a few hours. We're like, we're probably just gonna be even more beat if we go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, so the lady comes to pick us up. We get we get into the car and she just takes off, just boom, <laughs> head back. I'm like, God damn, she's like off to the races. It was the, it was, <laughs> it was insane. So we're driving, and every single light we come up to, it's screeching, slamming the brake, and it's just this back and forth. She did not know how to drive. She was every time a car passed her, she would swerve, like almost like she thought like the car was gonna hit her. It was so she was oh, just no. swerving. It was crazy. Stone sober, but it was literally pinballing back and forth between the lanes. So it was like, brr, brr, brr. we were all, like, oh we were my all, God. we couldn't help but just die, like to die lot, die lot. It was because we were genuinely scared for our life. We're like, we, we, we probably should pull, have this lady pull to the side of the road and just call another oh, Uber. Oh, was that bad? It I was would, that bad. <laughs> I was writing notes to show them while this lady was driving because it, we wanted to talk about it so bad. But I, I, I literally pulled up a note and I was like, this lady's driving like the Indy 500. <laughs> and then I wrote again, I was like, bro, I can't with this lady, it's so bad. And then I was like, why are we all over the road? Like, it was just, it was insane. I've never seen anything like it. It was and, very irresponsible the way she was and there, um, driving. And it wasn't just like holding the gas down and just keeping a steady speed. It was this. <laughs> Is that a Florida thing? No. She was, was driving it like, was a, like jo driving uh, like Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worse. It was unreal. It was like she just got her license that day. Yeah. Oh, wow. Huh. It was kind of like that. And she kept on it every time. Every time a car would pass her, she would swerve and just like, stupid idiot. Like she was blaming oh. everybody else but herself. I felt like Mrs. Puff in the seat. Just <laughs> like. Oh, my gosh. Going, dude, it was it was nuts. Oh, man. Bro, we made I, it that safe. Was, that was definitely one of the funniest moments of the trip. And there was also a really funny moment. It was that morning. We were walking through the lobby at four in the morning and we were just fucking dead. And I don't know why this was so funny to us. We were dying, but Charlie had the big box of Sharpies and she's walking and then she just drops it and goes, <laughs> it goes all <laughs> A box of like 50 Sharpies exploded. It was all the over. way it sounded. The way it sounded Just was funny. perfect. <laughs> it was hilarious. You guys aren't gonna find it funny, but like in the moment, it was fucking hilarious. We were dying. We were dying. Because it was the last thing we needed. What yeah. color Sharpies? Black. Just painting a picture. <laughs> we had the Sharpies because we were signing all the um, the boxes. I felt uh, I felt like a calligraphy master with those boxes. That was the, honestly, I haven't written anything like that in a long time. Because I, I don't like writing anything in a long time. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just type. I'm just typing these days. Yeah, not writing anymore. Electronic signatures. Exactly. It's already saved right in there. Fucking nuts. But yeah, that was our trip. It was really exciting. Very smooth, but exhausting, but fun. And again, and we want to do guys it. We want to do it again. Thanks for coming out. We really appreciate it. Let us know in the comments what cities you want us to stop at because we need to know. We need to know where y'all are chilling at. Apparently, retirement homes, retirement center, America. Retirement yeah. tour. <laughs> you should get you should get Cremota into retirement homes. Yeah, oh my decaf. god! The last coffee they taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That's how we, that's the how we last. sell it. Oh, we met a kid uh, that worked with David at the retirement home. Oh, oh wow. yeah. When he was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. He goes. He worked there when David was working at the retirement home, Checks and he out. knew. Insane. <laughs> we also met another girl who um who. She was the great, great granddaughter of who? Remember? Oh, John Wayne. John Wayne. Whoa. There was also something connected to you, but I forget what it was. Oh, of course you forgot. Remember everything else. <laughs> it was a girl that like, something, about something connected to Mariah. Yeah. A lot of people from uh, Staten Island. Oh, interesting. A lot yeah. of accents. Oh, do you ever, um, when you guys meet people, I always take note of like how far people come. 
Do you remember yes. the furthest person? Like when you did the Kremota Porsche thing, the furthest the people person that flew oh, in. Oh, they drove from Ohio. Well, there, I mean, there was people that flew in, but there, oh, most of them they were flying in because they were going. They were doing. They were there for something they else. They were already there. Yeah, oh, it was okay. like conveniently perfect that we were there. Oh, wow, that but must have been so exciting. There for was them. definitely a few. Like I, I know there was a girl from Indiana that flew yeah. in just for the meetup. That's wow. crazy. But she was. It's also a nice excuse. Like people do Florida and vacation. Yeah. So it is a nice excuse to be like, you know Plan what, it's it the summer, that. let me do a vacation in Florida. Yeah. Like, you probably gave people an idea to do a quick yeah. vacation. But, but a part of me part of me is like, just wait till we're in your city. Like I feel so guilty for people I like know, booking you feel bad. a like, $400 for us, yeah. flight. Yeah, That's that okay. like kills me. Hopefully because one day it'll be a Kremota tour. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. We perform, we sing. DJ. Take espresso shots. Exactly. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, DoorDash. That 8 a.m. class seemed like a good idea at the time, huh? But by week three, you realize you need to get your bacon, egg, and cheese and an iced coffee to get you through. That's when DoorDash can save your morning. So get the back-to-school savings you really want and get unlimited free DoorDash delivery with DashPass. It's just $4.99 a month for students. How worth it? So worth it. With $0 delivery fees, exclusive items, and more than 25,000 member-only offers nationwide, DashPass by DoorDash has everything you need to make this semester memorable. And DashPass for students gets you delivery in an hour or less so you can satisfy those spur-of-the-moment cravings. Or save even more with 5% DoorDash credits back on pickup orders. And DashPass for students gives you access to more than just your favorite restaurants, saving you grocery runs, convenience store trips, and they even have your back with gift shopping. And you can save even more money with an annual membership, less than $50 a year for unlimited $0 delivery fees. And for a limited time, our listeners are gonna get 50% off when you spend $12 or more on your first DoorDash order when you download the DoorDash app and enter code UNFILTERED2022. Again, that's 50% off, up to $15 value on your first order when you download the DoorDash app and enter code UNFILTERED2022. One more time so you don't forget, that's code UNFILTERED2022 for 50% off your first DoorDash order. Subject to change terms apply thank you doordash for sponsoring today's video we love you i wanted to talk to you how's your arm doing oh my arm oh yeah jordan jordan oh, got stung arm. by uh <laughs> by a bee the other day but and his, his arm, arm blew, blew up up it, it's it's much better today it's not as <laughs> show the audience oh Look my it, god it's so hot and tight it's to the tender, touch right? yeah to touch it's, it? it's crazy how I tight it's his arm is right now have yeah. you seen a doctor yet <laughs> <laughs> no but i've been doing my own medical research online and it <laughs> But I, he I, has, but he has yet to put any medicine on it. Yeah, I haven't done anything. No treatment. Why are you? No. Why are you doing research for medicine? I'm he's letting good. my body, my body yeah, heal it, and good. I'm feeling. Oh, you're using I'm, the I'm, um your immune system. My to... immune system. I've taken uh three immune of those those little shots. Like, immunity uh -huh. shots. Yeah, immunity shots. <laughs> just like immunity I've just shots. Been I don't think them, that's how it works. <laughs> it's been work. Look at it. <laughs> it does look better today. Yeah, it does look better. It looks better today. But I feel like it should have healed. Quicker than that. No, man. No. Bee sings, bee sings. I, I've had a bee I have before. a really bad history with bees. Like when I was a kid, every summer, I would dread summer because I knew I was getting stung by a bee. I don't know what it was about me, but yeah. I got stung every year for like eight years straight. Jeez. And it ruined- oh I wouldn't God. go outside. It ruined a couple of our family trips, like another family trip. We, we went to Ohio for vacation. So we went to Ohio. I got stung the first day on the head. Oh. And my, oh. my entire face blew up. So we went to like a souvenir shop and got these giant sunglasses for me. So every picture of me in Ohio for the whole week, <laughs> was just, you can see how tight, it looks like I have Botox. Do you have a I was, picture? I have so many pictures. Yes. My eyebrows are up here because of how tight, it looks like I had Botox everywhere. Oh, that's good though. And I, I was 10. <laughs> what did that feel like on your face? Just because tight, I can't it was imagine. Just, I had no, my facial express, I assume it feels like Botox. Like you're, you, I couldn't move anything, but it Jeez. was like picture your arm. It was tender on your face. and we were there for like a week and it oh didn't go God. down. Wow. So my entire trip was like You're ruined. just hurting the whole time. Yeah, it was just like achy. Do you feel achy? It's it feels. I slept. I tried to sleep as much as possible, and that was it. But like, I didn't take any antibiotics or anything. It, it was feels just like, like like someone punched my arm. Yeah. for like hours. Yeah, it's uh, kind of like it's, it's just sore. It's, it's like sore. sore yeah, aches. it's the worst. I can't to the bone that. though. Tell them, tell them how it happened. It wasn't just a random accident. He was probably trying to touch it. He was. Oh, Maron, I can't. I, he, so no, 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 Alleyway yep. with the pole yes. of Why? the Why? But there's like Why? there's like fifty to hundred bees because that surround I've, this yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. I run across the street when I see that. Explain pole. yourself. Wait, okay. Listen, it's been a 
I want to say it's been three months since like I've been having this interaction. He's been getting to know the pole. I've been, <laughs> with the colony. I call them the colony. The, the bee colony? colony? The bee colony. And got, you, gotta any, make, you gotta make some human friends, man. Anytime I'd go the, to get the, coffee. The colony. Every time I'd walk to get coffee, mm -hmm. I'd stop and visit the colony. And they don't want you to visit Jordan. <laughs> no, they don't like Jordan, you. You're making man. it seem like they, they I understand, but I was building this relationship. Like I was like, okay, what? Cause in my head, I was like Mariah. Like I've never got stung by, this was my first bee sting oh, ever. You're doing amazing. So imagine, so I've gone my whole life afraid of these bees, like thinking they're vicious uh, animals. Yeah, the rumors. And I have stood in, I've stood in the hive. Like I've been, my eyes were this close to the well, bees. Well, so are you trying? Are you are you trying to gain their trust? Like what's the? It just felt like that. It felt euphoric. You know when you're standing, uh, you're watching ants. Yeah. And you can just look at them, and it's like, I wonder if they it's think. It's kind I'm of like here. mesmerizing. Yeah. So like the bees though, instead of ants, it felt like the bees knew I was there, but I wasn't. I wasn't a conflict to them. Okay. And then. Well, they're probably praying to God you don't fucking. <laughs> fucking weirdos back. And then just. It, so, so you just, I, uh, while I, you're I, standing there, it just. I got too close to the honey and they. Were, so please tell me. Did, you, did you reach your hand out? Were you touching on no, it? No, 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 nothing. No, I felt it though. My body felt like, okay. Uh, like I, I like had a weird freak out and then they had a weird freak. We all, it was. Energy. You got scared. Yeah. Energy. It was an energy. That's it, why they say you can't you act can't. afraid around yes. them or, or go like so this. It, it, that's what happened. They smelled I, your fear. They smelled me. Yep. I smelled them. It went inside of me <laughs> and I sat there. Man, this I, is getting sensual, baby. I sat there for, for five seconds and I looked at it and then I was like, bees, they leave off pheromones when they attack. So yeah. I'm like, I gotta get out of I gotta get, yeah. So I run and I'm, <laughs> I'm in an alley. Jordan, an I alleyway. picture him in this outfit <laughs> running down the it's alley. It's an alleyway. So there's cars like, Right when it happened, car running Just through. Just a bee so balls I, following him. And uh, just imagine seeing that. It was that. awful. I was on the ground. No, I was on the ground. You were on the ground like I was, you were. I, like I ran, fell on the ground, <laughs> took the thing out, and I then I walked back home. But at least you're not allergic. Yeah. Semi. But there's a five. Now with this, I have a five to 10% more chance of becoming my, my next thing is an Lethal? Uh, allergic reaction. Well, hold on, why? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Who told you that? His his Google I, research. I, everything the that bees. has told me that I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> the bee <so> council. <laughs> the bee council. <laughs> I've just I've just been googling everything, and they've. I'm okay. I feel so fine. now is this gonna? Has this tampered the relationship? Like, are you gonna go back? I, I have not gone back. I have not gone back. But some part of me wants to do this. And show them what they but did. But not not in a like in spite. It's more of like I accepted the poison. Like I for, I, I forgive I'm, you. Yeah. Or they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna smell it in you and be like, he's back, attack again, finish the job. That's I want to see if bees. This is a good test for me to see if bees remember. Mm. You know? Okay. Oh uh, yeah yeah. Are yeah. you doing any research wait, about this? Wait, don't bees only live like three days? I heard Who when they that? sting you, they die. They die. That's what I've heard. Too. Yeah. It did die. And how oh, do you know okay. it died? Did you see I, it? I, Cause it's whole ass was left inside of me. Oh, you <laughs> took the bee out of you? I took the bee out oh, of you. Oh, I've never had a Jordan, you should have took the bee out and throw it back in the hive. <laughs> you should have taken a picture before you pulled it I out. Should've. Yeah, you should have. Yeah. I think well, you panicked I was, though. I was, I was going through so many For your emotions. first time? I think that's pretty iconic. First time. In Hollywood? Okay, so so Western honeybees live thirty to sixty days. So you I still have, got time. I have time. They'll remember to make, to make a good to make good amends. Yeah, good amends to the to the bees. Or and just it, go back in a month where none of them are even the same ones, and they that's won't. That's true. Know. Why don't you just um, play with the squirrels? I have. that we have here. Oh, they bit him too. I, th but they <laughs> did. They did turn on me too. I, oh, they did. <laughs> Jordan, maybe Jordan comes off a little maybe strong. It's your scent. Is it, maybe a little it's your, aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Jordan, you've got binoculars. Just look from afar. I, it's not the it's same. It's not the same. It's like, but bin, not. I almost said binoculars. Binocu binoculars. 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 Oh, we should do it again. We've already. I, we've already yeah, thought we've about this. this. But <clears throat> wait, what, what were you saying? I like looking at them from afar, but it's then it's different than I want to smell, breathe. Like I, I need to be wanna, in there. You <laughs> want to be them? <laughs> do you like? You you love nature, correct? Yes. Like you yes. like to be one within like nature. Yes. 
Um, <laughs> I like, I, I view what, my life as like, I, I don't have like the cameras behind me, but I feel like I'm doing a chimpanzee documentary with every animal. Got it. <laughs> like, That's like awesome. I have, you just want to build a relationship yes, with a wild like, animal, gain their trust and just have that moment. Do you see yourself like, do you see yourself as like the male Snow White? Like, do you think you could like- Actually, yeah. Kind of live I like- I see him as that. Like, what? could you be in like a forest and live there and like be surrounded around animals like every day? Yeah, no humans? Every single day. <clears throat> okay. He'd be I, fine. That's how I've been, that's where- I've Him on Survivor? Oh, oh yeah. I, I would it. I would watch. I would watch for sure. Living. Gonna, <laughs> could you do <laughs> Naked and Afraid? into living. Dude, I would love to do that. Naked that's right living. up his alley. <laughs> I think you'd be a good contestant on that show. Thank you. Wow, I think he would. Do I think well. so too. Because he, you know, he's small too, so he can get into like crevices and shit. <laughs> and he builds. Yeah, he's gr a great handyman. Exactly. He builds. He he builds something out of nothing. That's his. Thing. <laughs> what what other animals have you been attacked by? The rooster, right? Didn't that? I had a rooster attack when I was a child. <laughs> a, like um, a, like what cool. kind of attack? They have like these uh, claws on the back of their ankles. Mm -hmm. Um, they're like talons. Oh, and they'll okay. Jump and, ah! and like. It got me like right here. It got my brother. My wow. brother had to get stitches. Damn. He still has a scar like right <laughs> oh, here. That's pretty man. sick. Like, oh, yeah. how'd you get that scar? A rooster. A rooster. Pretty sick. Did your emu ever attack you? Poncho's that thing good. looks like that. It, that thing looks like it can. No, it's never Poncho's damaged. sweet. It's never attacked me, but it, it did get, it, it, it did have an escape <laughs> and it escapes onto um, Flamingo Road. <laughs> Shut oh up. Get gosh, out of here. The emu I, on Flamingo of Road. Course. Wow. Do you think he like, I, I mean, I had, that? I had just gone off work. It was like 530. <laughs> Flamingo Road is, by the way, it's yeah. massive. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's no, a busy I street. think it's the widest street in America. It's so <laughs> fucking wide. That, that thing was probably having fun it, on that road. So I can't even explain to you what was going in my head because like, I'm sorry, this is like crazy, crazy to talk about. Is this like traumatic for you to talk about? It's just crazy because the, the emu was in the middle of the road. You wanna know what's next to me? Quarter decks, the gas station, Publix, <laughs> and my emu in the main street of this Could road. Could you imagine uh, that shot? No one. And I, I'm I'm sure people are driving like, what the They hell? probably thought it escaped from like the zoo, like I, the zoo in- um, Yeah. I had my- uh, <clears throat> I had a, a tie, business clothes, complete business shoes, everything. Well, I threw my shoes somewhere. I had to find them <laughs> later. And my family- Can they run like, fast? My family, Jordan, you gotta bring them back. <laughs> We're gonna lose the house. Yeah. Literally, like if the emu attacks anyone, the house is gone. Oh no. Oh, I didn't even think if about that. If the cops that. get involved, the house is gone. So like, this is all like, it's going through my- I, this Was is it your fault that the, uh, he escaped? What? Did you leave a door open? No, it wasn't me. I'm not gonna say who it was. We don't know who it was. I'm not gonna shame my family. I thought, <laughs> but, um, but, some, no, but so, like somebody, somebody left a so, door open. Someone in the family left a door open. Okay, or somebody. outside the family, but it got out. It's on Flamingo Road. <laughs> Did you have a lasso? Were you gonna try no, to tackle it? No, no, no. So I, I actually, I went into him. I picked him up like this, <gasps> and this he is. How like, heavy are they? I, I, I don't have like a good. It, it weighed less than me. Cause like I can oh. lift myself, right? Okay. So that's how I like measure <clears throat> things. It probably weighed like 10 pounds. I'm saying like maybe 120, look up like emu weight. But that's how <laughs> much I think. I pick him up. I'm also like on adrenaline because- right. Yeah, you had- Yeah, I bet. It it's like that mom strength that yeah. comes in. I yeah. had never felt it. And it felt so good. It felt <laughs> like, <whoa. laughs> You felt like you're on a mission, like that. Like you had something to do. Like that, that was thing. your purpose. Like in that yeah. moment, he was Insane. so light. It well, was like carrying a sack. Of oh yeah, like what were what were we saying? Like um, like the mother. Yeah, the, the moms that can yeah. lift a car off yeah. a baby. I had that. I had that. And but in front of me, cars, Snapchat, phones, everything. <laughs> and I was screaming like, "Stop!" I'm like, surprised that you didn't make there, it on the Florida news. There has to be videos of someone like. I hope somebody stop. has a video. And they're yes. like, "What yeah, if someone's listening to this right now?" And they're like, "I have that video." So. I'm holding this, its legs are ripping mine. They have like Cutting. massive claw, yeah. like their legs are insane. Oh, shit. They're called ostriches, my, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes, tattered my pants, my business pants, my <laughs> nicest pants. Oh Just no. Tat, rip them and I'm holding him. <laughs> and I know he kept those I'm pants for the story. Him. And uh, I, I, I don't know what to do. I literally, I'm so far away from my house. Like this is not like, like I, I have yeah, him now. Like well, you, you just, call it, you call an Uber. I, I have him now, but I don't know what to do. So, so you're just walking. I'm with like, it. mom, I, no, I, I bring him 
And I actually managed to all right, go to the what it, the easement, whatever, the side of the yeah, side yeah, of the road. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I tackle him there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what, what, what was I going to do? Blancho. What was I going to do? How imagine long? seeing that I shit know. on the side of the road. Crazy. How long ago was this? this? I can't even imagine. This, was a, this is like maybe like 14 <laughs> months ago. <laughs> 14 months ago? <laughs> I'm sitting. Oh, that's recent. Wait, today. who and, doesn't and, just say a year? This, this, also, <laughs> this also happened at like 530. Like this was like yeah. traffic was insane. Oh, man. I'm after <laughs> after work wrestling an emu in front of the road. Like that's what happened. I love this. And then we stopped. I think you're the only person in the world who uh, yeah, had, had to do that. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. My my neighbor uh drove by with the minivan and we shoved the emu in the oh, minivan. Oh, do you have a picture of that? How what? are you able to like call like make that call while picking up the emu. Like I'm trying to, so, I'm trying to so visualize this. So the neighborhood this. kids had followed me. They, oh my they gosh, he had an audience. Yes, nice. They followed me out there, and I told them, whatever, uh, call whoever, bring the van. Jordan, you probably look like a freak to these people <laughs> because you're. <laughs> I looked like I was on crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> you were definitely Florida man, Florida man running yeah. after his emu on Flamingo Road. Wrangle, That's wrangle. literally yeah. a fucking article. There's got to be something. No, I looked up at the news like all day, like Snapchat. I, I typed in emu. Nobody like, got it. No one. Damn. Nobody Imagine how much shit we missed. It happened. That is it makes crazy. Me oh, yeah. No, you're, you're Florida is every day, man. It's yeah. survival. Wow. It is. When you guys it were is. explaining like uh, your survival at the Florida airport, I'm like, these Florida people are different. Yeah, it's because we survive. Yeah. We just survive. That's, they just <laughs> That's so funny. Well, at least you got him back. We got him back. What um, other traumatizing moments have you had in your life? <laughs> <laughs> His whole life just flashed. <laughs> Jordan, like, Jordan's what is been like through the, a lot. What is like the fucking craziest Jordan thing Jordan probably has the craziest stories I've ever heard from anybody. And we know a lot of and it's, crazy people. And it's so cool because like I've known him for so long, but he'll pull out a story that I've never heard and be like, oh, how do I like, he just always has stuff that he's been through. He's seen a lot. And you would never know unless you asked. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Most traumatic was day before high school. Um, so I was... 14. Gonna become a freshman. I don't know how old I was. 13 or 14. 13, 13 14. I was uh, gonna become a freshman at South Plantation High. Ooh. Thank you for uh, plugging <laughs> in. <laughs> Shout out South Plantation. <laughs> and um, I had my, my home was invaded by uh, five people. It was a home invasion. Five? Oh. I could tell you a little bit about it that. Happened at midnight. <laughs> no, he is home during this. <laughs> oh, you're home. Yo, okay, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, and they no, didn't no, just no, like. No, 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 no. I was held hostage. What? I was. Wait, you've never heard this? No, I've never heard. Oh, what? wow. Okay. Oh, it's Zane, oh my god, Zane, that's no. like nowhere near what I've experienced. Oh, Zane, you no, have Zane, no idea. It's oh, unreal. Oh, okay. This is for Zane then. Go ahead. Oh, I just got. I just got. This is cr this is crazy. What time okay, was sorry. it at again? Continue. Okay, so it happened at like midnight. Um, no, not midnight, maybe like 1 a 2 a.m. Um, they come into the house and I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm going to, this story is going to be spotty because it's like watched okay. out. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. But basically they, um, do, do, do it like by time, do it by timeline. Like you, it happened in the middle of the night. Like you also you don't start. have to talk about it if you don't want to. Yeah. I'll just give you the rundown. Okay. So basically like they hogtied all of us. Put us in one room in the house. Wait a fucking minute. Are you <laughs> crazy? Are you fucking Wait, with me? Right? You this never, is insane. No. I can't believe he's actually never heard this story. Oh, I thought you, yeah. I can't believe you've never heard this. Are you this. fucking with me? No. no. Not this isn't, that's insane. Yeah. yeah. I was on the news that's and everything. That's terrifying. Yeah. They, it, they, it was on the news. Literally, like what happened. my nightmare is like what you, what you just went yeah, through. It was, it was insane. Insane. You, your brain <sighs> thinks at like a different level. Yeah. yeah. I, I like, I, yeah, I can't I, imagine. I can't even talk about it. Cause like, I can't like. It's hard to think back on, but that happened next day. Go to high school. <laughs> Could you, you went like, back to school. I, I can't went, believe you I, went to school. The it next was the day. first day of school. It was the first day of school. And literally it was like, I, I went in and I could not like, I, I wouldn't be able to like function. There, there or wasn't, talk the there next wasn't day. anything on my head besides like, I want to tell someone like what just happened to me. But, but it's like, like the first day no, of freshman, freshman knew. it's, it's yeah. the first day of high school. Yeah. Oh, wow. How, yeah. how long were they in your house for again? It was about from like 2 a.m. till it lasted until seven in the morning. I know that sounds insane. That, but that it, is it, insane. It, it lasted. They probably left the house at 6 a.m., but we were still, they left us hogtied. So we were fucking like, crazy. Yes. At what point, like, 
Obvi- they, like they obviously cut, in the they cut the phone lines. They oh I didn't so know that. all the phone lines were cut. They took all of our cell phones. They stole our cars too. They took everything in the house, like everything, everything wow. you could possibly they, they just imagine. Dumped it, things in trash bags. And do you out. think that these people knew exactly who you were? Or this no, was just like they had place? no, they had no fucking. We were the poorest people in in, in my neighborhood. Like they were, they were probably so, so was pissed. Ra- and they it was got- random. Oh my god! In, in the middle of this like thing, they were like, "Where are the fucking diamonds? Like, where are the diamonds?" Because. They, oh they probably they probably gosh. got your house confused with another house no, where the diamonds. They got very unlucky, I would say. Because didn't uh, somebody follow you home? Yeah, they like followed my mom home. Right. Did okay. they ever get caught? They uh, they did. One of them was in high school. What? what? In, in, in our high school? No, no. Oh. And in Miami high school. But wow. That is insane to me. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. How long was it until they got caught? It was like two months. Damn. That, wow. Damn, that's so, like that's a long time to like after that shit happening, like to, you probably couldn't sleep for two months. I don't know. My family is very strong and we just yeah, kind of moved. That's over. good. We just literally the next day happened and we just kept moving on. Here's your syllabus. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, no, I really. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I, I, so, South Plantation did give me a computer. I didn't oh, really? have a computer. I didn't Thank have you, anything. South I can't yeah. believe throughout the oh, entire high school. I never like heard this story. Yeah. That's insane. Wow. I do have a specific question. Just one question about that, that moment, because I'm imagining me in that situation. Like <laughs> ask me anything. Wh- okay. So when you got like hogtied and you were you, all of your hogtied in the middle, how long d- was it till you guys felt like you were going to be safe? Oh. Or was it the whole time you were just like, oh, never, at any moment? Never, never, And they were constantly, constantly saying, you're going to die. We're oh. going to kill oh, you. Oh, we're that's gonna- it. Yeah. It was the oh whole the God. whole night was, uh, we're killing everyone. Then someone oh would say, God. then someone would say like, we can kill everyone, but we're not killing the kids. Like they would have this conversation open in front of you guys in front of us. Yeah. Like no one, like and we couldn't speak when we spoke. It was like, shut up. It, there was yeah, it, and th- that type of shit. It, like it that's was when like we were not in the room, and then they'd have casual conversations with us. Like uh, we're we're Cuban, so he was like, "So, is it true about what they say about Cuban cigars? Like our Cuban cigars?" It was what? like, "What is going?" Oh, we're, okay, sick. like I've never like, yeah, like not many people experience this the, yeah. like situation. Um, were you like trying to be like on their good side, or like trying to like yes. have a conversation to be yeah. like, please, yeah. just like. Let's try to at least connect on a personal yes, level, like was. just yeah. spare. It was like my grandpa just immediate, like if uh, listening to it, yeah, was like he was like talking to a friend. Wow, right. like you have to. That's how a lot of people survive. Like That's kids, what I would even do. though kids are really young, when they get kidnapped, a lot of them their instinct kicks in and they talk to them like about their family and do they have kids and they talk yeah. to them like they're friends because something switches in their brain it's, and usually they're let it's go. It's just so crazy in your head. You're like. I hate this person. Right, yeah, but you have to like fake it yeah, and be like. I mean, but yeah, I wonder if if it's going through their head that oh they're just being nice to me. No, like or is it are they just that like that fucking? Because if demented. you're doing something like that, then you, you have a you have a mental like you have a problem. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I think that. like your brain is going to tap into another area and believe the way they're speaking yeah. to you. So I don't I don't know. I have no idea. Are you just always on alert now? I'm actually. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. I, I actually leave everything unlocked every night. Oh, that's <laughs> because say, it can't. My statistically, so- he's like, I've been through it all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dude, man. you're like statistically, <laughs> this can't happen to me twice. I, right. I have a reputation in my house for never locking the door, always leaving it open. Oh, like, okay. I, I no. It's like never happened to me. You know what? I'm glad like this. You're saying this because I, every single person listening is going to now lock their fucking doors every night because there's there's people that don't you never lock their know. Doors. You never know. Lock your doors. It doesn't matter where you live. Even if you live in like a safe area, you think it's safe. It can happen to you. It's it can not happen to anyone. Th- and especially that like that me. neighborhood. I remember that neighborhood. It's a really nice I just neighborhood. can't picture them going to right. Why to your didn't house they pick the freaking pyramid house? <laughs> right, yeah, the, the yeah. pyramid house. Right. Come on, right? <laughs> or Fat Joe. I, I Christmas um. We sung Christmas carols because we were like, "How are we gonna meet oh. Fat Joe?" Oh. We need, oh. we need to come up with that. <laughs> it was smart. You have so, to. You so got you guys it. Faked Christmas in carols? fucking Florida. Like, Wait, did it work? You don't understand. There's like no Christmas does not exist. Like it's just a hot day. Yeah, it's like, miserable. It's just Florida. Santa goes around on a fire truck, uh, throws out broken that's how, candy that's canes. How it is, yeah. So 
It got 11 people. So you guys are planning this. Like, how do we... We're planning this. And we're very genuine about it. We're not like, we're just hitting Fat Joe's house. Like, let's you hit some you, other houses. You have so to we have make money it believable. In the <laughs> what was we it like? Had, we had we all put in our own money in the basket to begin with, so people looked like you got tips. Of course, that's, yeah, that's a good. And then my my, <laughs> my grandparents were like, "You're going to our friend's house asking for money," and we're like, oh. "We don't want money. We just we're want to we want to sing to we're, Fat Joe. We're carolers. We're bringing Christmas joy." <laughs> so yeah, we go to Fat Joe's house. What are you guys wearing? We we didn't dress up. We all, we had we all had um Christmas hats. Tank tops. We did not. Good. We looked awful. <laughs> Just t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But we we did have like a reindeer. All right, you got it. You got it. Yeah. Christmas hats, and uh, he answers the door. Fuck. And we we before before his house, we were like, so what are we good at? Like, we know Ru- Rudolph is our like, <laughs> Rudolph That's the bread and butter. Rudolph. Rudolph is our hit. And <laughs> <laughs> we we go to him. And he answers the door and I'm not joking. Like he stood for three seconds, walked away and came back. $11, dropped it. 11. And that, $11. Wow. Eleven dollars. I will never That's forget it because we all went to Burger King right after. <laughs> no, um, did you at least all, keep one no, dollar? Damn, we, we had a fat Joe's dollar. That's something. If that Joe's was you buffet. today, was, you would have kept I that dollar. Kept it. Absolutely. Yeah. What was he wearing? He was wearing a tank top. He was very chill. He was at his home. He was alive. He has a very distinctive look, like yeah. his face. It was did, a, it was a gray tank top and it was that like feathered tank tops like a very cheap looking it was just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to you didn't have to roast it. Poor shame him like that. He, but he's still but he's still riding off that candy shop. Fat Joe. Dude, he was good back then. He fucking yeah. he made hits. He really did. That's so I funny. can't believe you he lived there. That's so cool. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Noom. With Noom's psychology first approach, Noom Weight empowers you to build more sustainable habits and behaviors. To date, Noom has helped over 3.6 million people lose weight. And every journey is different. So your daily lessons are personalized to you and your goals. And the best part is that the program is based on scientific principles like cognitive behavioral therapy to help you understand your relationship with food. And whatever your health goals are the flexible non-restrictive program focuses on progress instead of perfection and you could choose your level of support whether you want to do a five minute daily check-in to personal coaching and guys don't forget progress isn't a straight line and off days are totally okay noom way will help you get back on track and people using noom lose an average of 15 pounds in 16 weeks and 95 percent of customers say noom weight is a good long-term solution so everyone stay focused on what's important to you with noom weight psychology based approach and sign up for your trial today at noom.com unfiltered Again, all you got to do is sign up for your trial today at noom.com slash unfiltered. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Noom, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you and thank you for keeping us on track with our health and fitness, baby. Some bangers. Oh, you're talking about your the- story. Your story. Oh, oh. Yeah, That's dude. crazy. It, it feels like it, I have a timeline in my head now of when that happened and when it didn't happen. Pre-robbery. Yeah. It was like, because you feel like your innocence was almost taken from you. Yeah. That's that makes sense. Feels, mental uh, innocence was was taken from you. Yeah, yeah. I don't. And you have like you come out of it with a different outlook on you life. Do. Like you, I'd say it's like stronger. Like it's not a bad. Oh, hundred like percent. Yeah. It's not, and I don't. I don't ever like. I don't like thinking about it, but I don't have an issue talking about it. Yeah. But I don't like whenever it's like someone's like, "Well, tell me like what." It's like, oh, then I'll remember like, oh, I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's just one of those things, but it's like. <clears throat> It's like trapped in my brain. I think God was watching over you that night. Thank you. Absolutely. You were supposed to be in this seat you know and what? he knew I that. Th- I think so There too. was no way he was going to let you guys go like that. No way. No way. I agree. Jesus was there. <laughs> Right, Mariah? Dylan, Dylan right. wasn't. Dylan, Dylan was he wasn't over home? someone's house. Oh, yeah, your brother. So, wow. Dylan's so, his brother. Yeah, Dylan's my brother. Dylan found out about this like after it happened. Oh, he probably oh. felt so guilty. So could you imagine? Yeah. I would feel that for a long time. I'd feel so guilty. It's, it's, but you shouldn't feel guilty, but you just right. do. No, no. It was just like, for but like he was like playing Counter-Strike at a friend's house. <laughs> well, Counter-Strike counter. was happening in your yeah. life. <laughs> Get, to get in the hostages. <laughs> For you, you, you literally fucking live gameplay right in that that's living room. So funny. Bullshit. Well, do you have a happy story that you remember that? Uh, um, the emo story. <laughs> <laughs> he said that was the highest moment of his life. <laughs> that is a that's, really, that's the, the emo story is like that's That is. Like, that's some shit you'd see, like, TikTok no. story time, how my emo is <laughs> yeah. based on Flamingo Road. I, I cannot, I, I, I can't emphasize, I was 
the, the gorilla strength, but I was <laughs> so angry. I've never been so angry. Were you angry oh, with wow. the emu? I can't angry imagine you being bird, angry. At the animal. Yeah. I've like, never seen it, you angry. It was, uh -uh. Like, it was like, like we were, <laughs> me and this bird were upset. Y'all were beefing. <laughs> the bird was just not understanding. Like the, like, and you can't vocalize that to it, you know? They just have this face. They're like, scary looking. They look at you and it's like, they, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> Jordan's, like, Jordan's just like, how do you not see that this is not okay? You are upsetting <laughs> me right now. Look where we are. Look where we are. I was, I was just trying to teach it. And he's just like. <laughs> it, it, it was like, it really, I, I don't like birds very much. And that I don't hurts, really that either. That my heart to say. I don't either. It, I, I've look, been attacked before. You know that, right? I want to run back on that. I do like birds, but. Have you they heard of Zane's are, bird attack I've, story? You've had a bird attack? Yeah, no, I mean, nowhere as near as um, entertaining as yours. Uh, mine was a little more traumatic, not as traumatic as your night. <laughs> we don't have to you, compare, you just tell your story. What the fuck? I was, I went to Central Park Elementary. I think you went there too, right? I was, I got off the bus and I had the stop where it was all the way across my neighborhood. So they didn't drop us off like near your house. My closest one was fuck. It was like, it was about, a different like, time. It was like <laughs> almost a mile, Dude, a mile I, away I from know. the house. A mile every, away from the house. And they made us walk it every single yeah. day. And um, I got off the bus and I was walking for about three minutes, three, four minutes. All of a sudden, this black crow just started attacking me. <laughs> pack, pack, pack. And it hurt so bad. It wasn't like it was just on my shoulders and it was just flapping. No, it was, I don't know what was on my head that day. I don't know what was going on in my head, but it motherfucker was pecking, pecking at me for minutes. And you minutes. can't, that, like that's I'm, something you can't see. Like, yeah, I didn't, I was a kid. I don't know what I was saying. I was running, I was screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and this crow was on my head pecking, pecking. I was running all the way down. And it was pecking for about like seven minutes. And then it just, I finally hit it and it flew away. But I just like, I wish that somebody recorded <laughs> that like moment. Imagine I seeing I wonder that. if somebody on the bus like sprinkled something in your hair, like crackers, you know? It, it, it's way too, the, like it's not Uber like a thing to do in Florida. So there's something about being afraid of an animal that you're not supposed to be afraid of normally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like an alligator or a bear shows up. Every, like everybody understands I'm going to be scared of this. Yeah. But when it's an animal coming after you that you, like doesn't seem scary, any like animal. a squirrel or a chipmunk, a groundhog, something like that that's chasing you, a grown man, like running. It, there's something that's even more scary about that because you don't know how to, like you yeah. don't know how to defend and yourself. you could do that with any animal. Think, like of, a, a a think of a cockroach. Like it's if you just, could not kill the cockroach, you'd be screaming. And it just keeps coming after because you. Because if they're running after you, they want to like hurt you so, yeah they're not just running after you just to climb on you and have fun they want to they want to hurt you they want to bite you they want to infect you or, or inject you Something, with venom. Like, i feel like this one doesn't make sense but i feel like everybody knew a person growing up that was terrified of dogs no matter yeah, what type yeah. it was my sister but she never had a traumatic experience we never had pets growing up like she was no matter what size our neighbors had this um beagle puppy mm -hmm. terrified it wasn't like the big ones little every size every type screaming for her life like we were decapitating her just why did, did it i like, say that why did i say that <laughs> like we were decapitating why did, decapitating I, why did I say that <laughs> that was funny want i want a mug yeah there they are i yeah uh, i don't know if they're out yet so no these are going to be coming out in about a week after this episode airs oh, oh cool. fun. all right oh bubba you got the same one you already have no. On oh, air. On cool. air. We got the on oh, air cups. Oh, that's a good color. Sick. This is actually the same color pattern as our Coachella shirts. Look, as oh, the one you're wearing. I love yeah. that. Well, no, no, no. This is actually the same as I feel like the, the Coachella one. The Coachella shirts, it's Looks like so the good. same. Um, and this matches Woo! our on air light that we have uh, for the podcast. Usually we have which it right is, there, right, but we're Jordan's sitting there now. <laughs> yeah, my man came <laughs> out with espresso. There you go, baby. <laughs> You want to restart it? Wow, oh. these are they look really sexy. good. Yeah, they, they feel nice good. too. So, gonna be coming out very soon. These are really good. I'm like much it better feels than the first nice. ones. Yeah. Does anyone want coffee? Did you did you rinse these? Oh. I, I have a bad habit of that. I don't rinse anything. Like, whatever. I, I, why? My immunity. It's dust. Are we dust supposed to clean these? You. Every everything you get that's new, you're yeah, supposed to like. You, you should even at like least. when you buy clothes and they say don't throw it in the washer. Oh, I do. Eh, I don't I care. Because do. I don't like the. Did you just finish that? 
Give it to Mariah. Oh my, Jordan, with that, with that <laughs> coffee, co with that coffee why, pour. Why did you even pour it. this? I, <laughs> I have a funny story. It's not that funny. Um, but I bought, I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw these two Ottomans that we could have used for our closet. So I met up with the girl to pick up the Ottomans. There was two of them. And I'm waiting like 20 minutes for her. She's on like the top floor of the apartment complex. So it takes a while for her to come down. So she comes down and she has one and she says the other one is inside. And I was like, okay. So she puts it in the car and I'm just sitting in my trunk on my phone and she goes, have a great day. And I was like, you too. And I was like, why did she say have a great day? Like now, now my brain is like <laughs> wiring to be like, what do I say when she comes back now? It's weird because she said, have a good day, but like she's gonna come back and bring the other one. Like, I don't know, just weird. Like reasons to not be upset about something. So I was panicking over it. So I'm just sitting there and I'm on my phone and I'm brainstorming like what else what? to say. Oh my God. And how long I you realized sitting I'm sitting there for like 15 minutes and I'm like- Did she go back in? Well, she went back in because she said the other one was inside. And I was like, okay. So I waited and waited and I didn't want to text her because I was embarrassed, but I realized I was waiting <laughs> there. Crazy. I was Mariah. sitting outside for 15 minutes, That's I realized. Insane. And I'm being very patient and I'm waiting. I didn't want to say anything like, hey, are you going to come back out? So I was like, all right, literally, let me think outside the box. Like what could have happened here? So to think outside the box, you got to get Back in inside the box. the box. So oh, I opened my God. the lid to the ottoman and the other one is inside. The other oh one my, was inside. Oh my God. That's so funny. So now I'm wondering, I'm like, is she looking out the window? I'm still sitting here. Cause when she said, have a good day, I was like, you too. I sat and she was waiting for the elevator. So she was looking out at me and I was just sitting there waiting. And I just like, I was like, oh, I hope she didn't see me sitting there for 15 minutes. But she said the other one was inside. She didn't say it was in ice. She inside. did not say it, yeah, it was inside the other wow. Ottoman. That is that insane. is funny. So I nobody nobody was thinking of me in that moment, but I thought everyone on the street knew what happened. <laughs> Mariah, two minutes, not fifteen minutes. Two minutes. Two yeah. minutes. You text her. Where's the other well, Ottoman? I was in, I was so embarrassed because I. She, also, no. she has a hard time speaking up to be like. You know what I was also thinking? I said maybe I only gave her enough money for one because she said. Online, it said $40, okay, for two. And I was like, that's fair. These are really nice Ottomans. Ottomans are expensive. So I thought maybe she only wanted it for you? one. I don't know. And then like, I only gave her the $40, whatever. I don't know what was going through my head. I, I was just so embarrassed in that moment. And no one no one was thinking about that's me. So that is Nobody so had funny. me on their mind. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. It was inside. All right, I'll wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> she was really nice though. Just, wow. When she said, have a good day, that's when it clicked. I was like, hold on. She really meant really wanted you that to was have the a last time I've ever that seen. Yeah. Wow. That was crazy. I'm tearing up thinking about it because I'm that embarrassed. Like for what? Who gives a shit? It's funny because you <laughs> love shopping. Like you love uh um yeah. picking up furniture. And stuff. I do love meeting those people. It's just that it's just I'm just embarrassed. Like I I don't know if it's embarrassed or I just oh my god, dumb. That, that, Mariah, I have to like watch I think the it was, words I, I say around you. <laughs> maybe like maybe I'm having a conversation I, well, with Well that's Mariah, the thing like, I think of oh everything. God, is she like thinking about that like <laughs> it, was, no. it, it was just a misunderstanding. You were misunderstood. Oh, I was misunderstood. In the moment. Yeah. Like you heard it sounds like Stupid. it sounded like you heard like half the sentence. And you just, I don't know what happened. You just went along with it. Yeah. I'm trying to think of examples how you'll. Let's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, I know, I, I know. You, let's you think do this, apart. Let's think, let's you do this apart. thing when you don't. <laughs> how do I even explain like the times that this has happened? <laughs> oh, it just, it's just happened in the, the, uh, the, the pilot or the, the Chinese planes. It just happened last month. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not like that. Um, like if somebody says something, she doesn't like, she doesn't feel comfortable correcting them. So she'll add on to this thing that they thought in order to just make it okay with them. Like if somebody was like, oh, Mariah is Greek and she wouldn't be like, oh, I'm not Greek. So she'll still sit there with that person and then make up a lie about a family in Greece. Okay. Just to like, like that, that she'll hasn't, bring out Greek about, that, uh, that hasn't happened, but like something I, like that. I think it has to do with, I don't like making people feel 
uncomfortable. Right. Like, even though I have a lot of anxiety, I feel uncomfortable, I feel embarrassed, I make sure that person does not feel embarrassed. Like, I didn't want to reach out to her because what if she forgot? <laughs> So I was like, what if she's, I was like, what if she's in her apartment? She's sitting back and she forgot to bring the second one. I wouldn't want to be the person to be like, Hey, where's the second one? Cause then she's got to go down the flight of stairs. Like the whole right. thing. Oh, I was also thinking of that. Like when I inconvenience somebody, you know, yeah. if I feel like I inconvenience somebody, that's when my panic attacks begin. Yeah. You if are- I inconvenience somebody. So every little thing, I just make sure that person is much better it's than good. I will ever be. Yeah. But I never vocalized that. So people are so confused when I bring up things. They were like, I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm yeah. like, but it's, I can't sleep. <laughs> this is some it's consideration that. Yeah, next level consideration. Water boys do not know. So, okay. So something like this would happen where if we go to a coffee shop. How, how do we dig into this? So so this is like an actual example. If oh, we go to a, co- a coffee shop, say she orders a vanilla iced coffee. The person there recognizes us the next time we come in and they're like, oh, hi, good to see you. You love the cinnamon French toast. (laughs) She wouldn't have the heart to be like, no, I usually get vanilla. So she'd be like, yeah, I love cinnamon French toast, even though she hates it. And then every time now they're like, that's the cinnamon French toast. (laughs) So they'll have it ready. So she's like, fuck, I guess I'm going to have it this time. Oh, my God. It's funny that you bring up the coffee shop. Where we go to the coffee shop that we go to. I usually get one of two items, okay? I get the vanilla oat latte or I get an ice cream tea, depending on if I'm thirsty or not, okay? So if I'm really thirsty, I'll get the ice cream tea. When we show up, a lot of the time, a lot of the people know our orders. He gets the same thing every time. I usually get one of two things. So we walk in and usually the girl that knows our order, she goes, oh, blueberry iced coffee. And the, the day we went in, I was craving. <laughs> oh my God, bro. No, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so Jordan, you, no, 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 Jordan just spit no, out. Jordan, you, you have no tea. Wait, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Cause he knows where this is going too. But I walked in and I, for the pat, for like 15 hours when I went to bed, I said, I can't wait to wake up and have that ice cream tea. Could not wait. And I walked in and she goes, vanilla oat latte. I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, babe. Yes, ma'am. And she made it for me and I was like, I did not want this. It's as simple as being like, actually green tea today. <laughs> or, or, more, right. or just order the green tea too. I can't. I know what Jordan's gonna. Jordan, go ahead. You, you know, can, I know what, when we went the other day. What, what? I, I, it just. I'm hearing all this. I'm like, it's making sense now. <laughs> she, she ordered a, a a croissant, and and she op- She tells me, I think they forgot. And <laughs> I'm like, oh, because oh, okay. usually they warm it up for me when I get a croissant. Uh-huh. Okay, so and I asked for it warmed up. Yes, and. Mar- uh, we're waiting and Mariah's like, I think they forgot. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so Jordan goes, what are you gonna do about it? I'm like, I'll just wait. We just wait, we just wait. <laughs> and I'm, I'm waving at the other employees. I'm like, we good just- to see you. I don't speak up and Jordan's like, why don't you it, say it's, something? It's like four minutes and and they look at us. And I told Jordan. Oh, uh, the croissant. Oh, the croissant, the croissant. I told Jordan, I said, it's in the microwave. Yeah. They forgot. Like I, it's a routine thing because they, they forget every time because yeah. not a lot of people order the croissant. And Jordan was like, why don't, why don't you just, I'm like, no, they're busy. I don't know. Yes. I would, and at this point it's cold yeah. now. <laughs> and what are you, are not gonna ask them to reheat it. Oh, no, absolutely oh God, no. Oh, what no. are you, nightmare. crazy? Nightmare. No. nightmare. But it's not even like, I, I'm not, um, you know how people have anxiety with like ordering stuff? It's not that, I have no problem ordering food. Like I'm, I'll pick up the phone, order pizza. I have no problem ordering stuff. It's the inconveniencing them. No, you're, They're you're, busy. You're so Who gives a shit about my croissant? <laughs> my, my, it's not about me. <laughs> it's so, cons- I've never seen it. It's so, it's consideration to like. To the max. Uh, it's it's te- to a know, detrimental no, level. No, it's, it's, it's a detrimental. It's yeah, yeah, terror. Because, because it was it's just like. Terra. <laughs> it would just be like, oh, excuse me. I, I think I left my croissant. But instead. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> Jordan, there's one really good one that I just remembered. You're gonna love this one. So of who me? Of you, yeah. So <laughs> this is back when they, this myself. is back when they lived in the Porter Ranch house. We we did we were doing the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader video at the house. So we did the Do podcast. We did the Doesn't podcast exist. and then we did the video. And we knew that <laughs> Mariah had something to do 
um, she had like a dance class or she had something she had to get done. So we're like, all right, let's get this done quick. So we start doing it in our head. We're like, okay, Mariah will just tell us when she's, um, <laughs> we're not go. keeping track of the we're time. not keeping track of time. So we're doing the video <laughs> 35, 40, 45 minutes to pass by. We're all going. I'm like, okay, she doesn't need to go yet. All right, we're good. <laughs> we finished the video and then she goes, okay, I'm going to go. She was 45 minutes late. 45 minutes late to what she needed, where she needed to be. It was like a class. And we're like, Mariah, why didn't you say anything? She's like, well, I just didn't want to say anything because we were doing the video. I was like, we would have just stopped the video. <laughs> I we actually um, canceled the class. Oh, she canceled the class. No, I left though. What? It because you were so embarrassed because- Yeah. Oh my God. Because so you're not, when you take class, if you show up that late, they don't let you in. So you left? So I said, I'm going to be late, but who cares? I left and I just like got food or something. <sighs> Because you had to commit but to- But I also drove, we have locations on, so I still drove to the area. Like I drove- oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Mariah's killing it My My brain moves. It's Thinks exhausting. of everything. No, it, it's Going. exhausting. I'd rather be an asshole. Mariah, you are it's sketchy in a nice way. You are yeah, shady. I'm shady. Oh my God, shady, imagine but in a nice way. grabbing dinner for herself, knowing she should be at dance and what she just told you guys. And she's just- she's, they, they, know, they know, they know. We forgot about it in 30 seconds, but she's thinking about it for- <laughs> Hours. But then I'm not even, it's not even like I was resentful or anything. I was like, you know what? They saved me $20 today. <laughs> Let me I, spend it on pizza. <laughs> All right. That's enough about me. Yeah. Wow. This was, that was my favorite part of the, favorite part of the whole podcast. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> uh, of, uh, and I think about those don't, moments don't years later. You just it just doesn't it. shut off. Scared. Like just, I, I do things like that all the time. Just, um, just not like that. What I wanted to ask, I don't know if you guys would know, but there is a trend going around where people are saying their names and what they their name almost was. Oh my God. Oh, oh you, I love that one. That? Well, do you, do you know that? any of them? Yeah, I do. Oh, They're cool. Horrible, terrible. Okay, so this is Jordan Ong. Yes. Do you have a middle name? Lucas. Oh, love that. Oh, I like Jor I like name. Lucas, yeah. Jordan Lucas Ong. Yes. Cool. You sound really like good. I was, sound like I was named after Michael Jordan. The playoff <laughs> games happen on June 16th. Really? Nice. Mama saw him. And Wait, like, actually? Yes. That's yeah, I was really funny. I feel like a lot of people it's, do that. No, 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 no. But it saved, it's so funny it that saved you're... my life. I was going to be Eduardo. <laughs> oh! Eduardo. Oh, no. I love that. Eduardo. My, I dead ass asked my mom, what were you going to name me? Eugene. Eugene. Oh, shit. Eugene. Eugene. You're Eugene. not an Eduardo or Eugene. This is very Eduardo. Yeah. Yeah, you look like a character <laughs> on like Seinfeld with that. Eugene. Oh. Oh yeah, Eugene. Eugene. They were all extreme, ec deep, deep. Cuties. Give a shout out to Michael Jordan right yeah. now. Shout out to Michael <laughs> for, <laughs> for saving my life. You definitely, you definitely don't have this on. <laughs> it's so funny how short you are. <laughs> oh, come on. We went a whole episode without bringing up his height. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Not shorter than Ilya though, so you, you're lucky. Yeah, you that. got that. We're being Ilya's nice. shorter than me? <laughs> no, yeah. there's no fucking Yes, he lie. is. He no, is. he's not. He, he wears Zane, the- He, he wears looks the, six feet to me. I know, there's but no look way. at his shoes next time. He's got heels. He, he, got he heels. wears like the stilts. God bless his soul. <laughs> <laughs> you know we've been- The I soles of his I'm feet. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> that's funny. All right, I, so that's really funny. Yes, what were yours? Edward, no. Were you ever- Did they have a girl name for you or anything? Do you know? No, they, they knew I was going to be a, a okay. boy. Yeah. I was going to be Logan or uh, Micah. You you look like both of of those yeah micah. micah but he ended up being named after cowboy so like well they were, they were they were all cowboys they just didn't oh. know which cowboy was their favorite you look like a logan or a micah Wait, i feel like micah's cool just because it's different Wait, yeah zane of like zane and micah zane micah. and micah oh no zane and logan sound good logan and zane sounds oh, great oh yeah logan and zane oh logan and zane logan and zane hits zane and okay <clears throat> it uh, does you're a heath though though you're a heath you're, like, you're a heath though but logan's logan and zane hit though if your name was logan zane and heath you don't know you're, mine should i call my mom real quick yeah, yeah call your See mom what, what, what was your name oh his name is zane his name my name, yeah, my name. <laughs> my name where zane. did zane come from are i you know named, your name are you zane. named after somebody name, zane? zane what are you named after anybody i don't think so i'm named after heath barkley I'll show you what he oh, looks yeah, like. Oh yeah, let's see a picture of Heath Barkley. I'm gonna call my mom. I'm not gonna put on a speaker. I'm just hey, babe. put a picture of Michael That's Jordan on so they hey, can. Babe, oh what's up? my god, this is just so funny to me. Like my dad was looking at this guy. Like I want my son to be him. Let me see. How are you doing? Oh, he's cute. Mm. He's handsome. Excuse should, me? I put her, should I put her on or no? Yeah, let's hear. Okay. Good. Come on, let's keep this real. All right, mom, you're on. Uh, you're live right now on <laughs> Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Hi everybody. 
Hey. Hi. Hey. Okay, right now we're going through um what um, we're going through each person here and we're telling people what our names were gonna be before our names. Like before Zane, what other other name options. Other name options that you had for me. You know, I'm gonna be really honest. Zane was my only option for you. Wow, wow. Zane. You came up with that or uh I I did. No, I came up with Whoa. It. I liked the name of the author Zane Gray. I oh, wow. oh, oh, I had no idea. I see after, that name all the time. Oh, God. oh, in Catalina, remember I sent you a picture of the side of the building says Zane Gray. Gray. I said, oh, I've never seen like, I never say, see your name spelled like Z-A-N-E. It's always like Z-A-Y-N-E. Wow. Whoa, so I did I not know you named me after the oh author. Oh my gosh, you got to come to Catalina I so did. we can take a picture. I loved that name. And so that was the first name I came up with and I loved it. Holy shit. Cool. That's cool. Cool. All right, that's all. All right. All right, say bye, bye mom. Bye, love you guys. Love you. <laughs> love Thank you. you for coming. Bye. That's cool. So cute. I had no Catalina idea. Catalina has Zane Gray in huge that's letters. That's crazy. Holy shit. I'm like mind blown right now. Now you know. Now I know. All right, what about yours? Well, if I was a boy, I was going to be Dino. Dino? Dino. Yeah. Dino is Dino. such a cool Dino, name. Dino Amato. Dino Yo. Amato. Wow. Just a fucking <laughs> Dino. A pit bull. Dino does Dino. look like, like, like a Dino. short, like stocky like guy. A meatball. Dino, Dino. yeah, yeah a meatball. Dino. Dino um, but girl, I mean, I was, at first I was, my grandmother's name is Mary. Well, it was Maria. She changed it to Mary. So it was Mary. Then I was going to be Maria. And then they added the H for Mariah. Why did they add the H? I, don't, I think she just saw it in a baby book. And she was like, oh, Mariah. I am Mariah. Um, I like that. So I'm technically named after my grandma. I was supposed to be Maria. But if you were Eduardo, would you be Eddie? Eddie. Eddie. Oh, you Eddie. Look like an Eddie. Honestly, hey. Eddie looks good. Like with your haircut. Yeah, Eddie. So happy. It's Eddie. Hey, it's Eddie. You don't know how many people tell me I look like Eugene. I don't Eugene. see Eugene. I don't see Eugene. Thank you. Thank you. I said you look like Eugene with that shirt on. Back in like if you were like it lived in the 80s. I, I texted my mom, what were you going to name me? I named you after Michael Jordan. I was a fan of the Chicago Bulls and you were born on the playoffs on the night that Jordan scored very high. <laughs> scored very high. Every single night. <laughs> yeah. And she didn't tell me. She didn't tell you the other day. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't answer the question. I'm gonna call Eugene. Was it Frank Sinatra where the, in the meetup, somebody was connect, like somebody <gasps> had something connected to him? No. Oh, yes. What no. was it? It was something about Frank Sinatra. Do you remember what it was? No. That was what, that's what I, that's what it just hit me when you said Frank Sinatra. She remember. lives for this. <clears throat> yes. I forget what it was, but it was something crazy. Anything that has to do with Mariah. Um, yeah. Just, let's not remember. <laughs> they, somebody <laughs> had something like signed by Frank Sinatra. That was like something crazy. Oh, okay. So she has a list of, um, I remember seeing a bunch of signatures from all the Frank Sinatra. Oh, everything. Uh, it was a whole Rat Pack. Um, the Rat Pack signatures. She uh, showed you? I'm sorry. She brought this to you guys? No, no. no it she, was, she, has it. she took a picture of it uh, from I her I forget house. what it was, though. It was it was something cool, like some sort of like memorabilia. Priceless. That was signed by the whole Rat Pack. That's it was really cool. really cool. What a gem. I. Uh, it was her, I think her grand, like her great, great grandfather or something. She, he uh, was connected with them in some yeah. way. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, that was it. Oh, I, I, I want to tell you my plan for my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> right now? Yeah, because you brought up Frank Sinatra. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, do, uh, we're, we're doing, we're a sleepover at his house. Hey. Very close. Um, So, Frank Sinatra has a house in Palm Springs that I've been wanting. I'm not booking it for my birthday, but I've been wanting to book it for my birthday and it's before always you, booked before out. Before you continue, can I tell you? What? I tried to get it like four months ago and the only time it was booked was the three days of your birthday weekend. Uh, it, that's what happened last year. <laughs> the only three days. Oh, wait, oh, the only three days? W that was booked was maybe on your birthday somebody, weekend. Maybe somebody booked it for Mariah. Somebody probably wedding. already had like, does it every year that has the same birthday as you? You're right. So they're just Damn. like. It's just, it'd just be cool to have all our friends dress up cool to go to Palm Springs at his house, whatever. So <laughs> somebody had a party at his house and they had a Frank Sinatra impersonator, but I didn't know it was an impersonator. I thought it was an old video. And I was like, wow, this is, he's performing in his own house. And then I like, my eyes adjusted and I said, that's not, it sounded and looked just like him. He's really an good. older Frank Sinatra. Wow. So. Ding, ding, ding. We're having a pool party. I looked up Frank Sinatra impersonator and the first thing that came up, came up was top 10 Frank Sinatra impersonators in Los Angeles. 
So I says, sign me up. <laughs> all so 20 what you of do them. <laughs> is you fill out this questionnaire like- um, Wait, we should have all of them. All of them. Oh my, Get no, 10 to of the them. death. <laughs> They're having a riff off. Just have no, all of them no, sing no together. I think in there's the house, probably beef. Um, Franks and so basically areas. you fill out this whole questionnaire. I put the date, the time, the type, like what you're providing for providing food, transportation. I would obviously provide everything like, yes, sir. <laughs> and you fill out this whole thing. You answer everything, what equipment you could provide, where they're gonna be, indoor, outdoor, whatever. Then they send it out to all the Frank Sinatras <laughs> and they send you their rate. Okay. I haven't gotten that far yet, right. but that's the Nobody plan. replied yet. Don't tell, don't tell, even though it's mostly for me, no one's gonna give a shit. <laughs> don't tell anybody, it's a I, I But I feel like <laughs> it'd be really, really, just for an hour to have him perform, but I wanna get the one that looks most like him, so it's cool, mm -hmm. you know? Why don't you just invite all of them? I don't know. Well, there's also, they you can do just Frank Sinatra or they have the whole Rat Pack. Jesus. I feel uh, like that'd be cool. You should do the rap pack. There's gonna be more Frank Sinatras than guests at the party. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal. But I would have them stay and eat and hang out. You we know? could be in all the rooms. <laughs> we yeah. can have Bruce come over and be the young Frank Sinatra. Oh my gosh, because Bruce looks, looks just like him. He does. That's so How funny. How cool would that be? Oh, I think you should do it. I really want to do it. I think it'd be a fun thing. It can't be too much, right? I don't think Unless so. they're Nothing the best is one. too much. <laughs> you can't put a price on you can't, Frankie. On a <coughs> Frank impersonator. Frankie, come on. Frankie, the one that looks closest Frankie. to him probably charges the most. Yeah. You're right. Probably the one that performed in Palm Springs. Yeah. Like identical. I'm I'm trying to think of like what something like that would charge. Like I can't even guess. 200 bucks an hour? Probably like a couple hundred bucks. I'd do it for one hour and then have it. everybody Worth go. it. They dedicate yeah. their entire lives to being, to being somebody being else. Their yeah. Impersonators. Pretty crazy. So even when they're off camera, like they're still Frank. Exactly. Like their yeah. Starbucks coffee, Frank. Yeah. Do you like think so? Do you think they do that in real life? <laughs> Jordan would do that. That's why he's I, yeah, saying Jordan, that. I, I, I am Eduardo. <laughs> Jordan passes his whole life for Hamilton. Was, I did. I, I got stopped at a coffee shop. <laughs> for, oh my god. Yeah. He got. He got recognized. Yeah. Oh it my god. Insane. It was like his third day here. It was like my third day. But here. not for being Jordan. No. Oh, uh, who they, was it? They thought he was a oh, actor. Oh, Jordan pulled show. a me. He didn't have the heart to tell them he wasn't a famous actor, so he said, "Yes, that's me." Who did they think you were? <laughs> uh, what was I don't the think name? he knows. He said it was a new movie coming out. Yeah, or a they show. said it was like a new movie or a new show coming out. But I was wearing this because this, <laughs> this was like my work uniform. Because they probably thought you just so got on work. Yeah, because we live right by and Warner Brothers. She stopped me, and she's like. You look so familiar. And he's like, Yeah, I do a lot here. I, and she's he like, said that. What are you? I didn't see that. He's like, Yeah, I've been in a lot of stuff. Three days in, you're already fucking LA. <laughs> she said, What are you? And I, yeah, it was bad. It was bad. That is funny. And he, she, he basically left her thinking like that was him. That, like, that girl is I, going yeah, around telling like, everybody. I, I Listen, get where he's I, coming I, from. I, I answered very open. I, could not be that guy, but I could be that guy. That's it was what just, he said. He yeah. said, I, I may or may not I may. be. Yeah, which just tell that girl, it. oh my God. That's definitely him. That's, him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you say when you're like Brad Pitt. <laughs> I may or may not be. You know, like when it's that cool yeah. to be. Yeah, that's really that's funny. That's fucking funny. <laughs> we just watched Elvis. Have you guys seen it? No. When did you guys watch that? Too long. So when did good. That we accidentally bought it for like $40. <laughs> what? <laughs> You what? know, you it was accident. Accident. did, did it was, this happen? It was an accident a couple days ago. It was actually on his birthday. Actually, oh, I, well, I was, that's what I was getting at. Damn. <laughs> was, There's say no, it, no uh, say Okay, it. so I have to make this whole thing. Say but it. that, yeah, yeah. It's so not even that exciting. <laughs> we, we ran. I love unimportant details. So we were watching. <laughs> It just happened to be on his birthday? Well, we were watching the movie and it rolled into August 16th because we watched, we finished watching it at like 2 a.m. And then at the end of the movie, it says his death date and it's August 16th. No way. Yes. <laughs> she asshole. freaks out. Oh, shit. That's the type I of shit that gets her going. Oh, I bet. She probably that felt was, him. She there probably, was something, that's there was insane. something like, why, why did we buy it that day? That is crazy. Yeah, why didn't we accidentally rent it that day? I don't know. I'm not All, saying you know what happened? All that happens, <laughs> their family just chitching. <laughs> because someone just bought a fucking That's movie. That's probably always $40. They charge people on the death today. <laughs> I accidentally picked up the remote and I clicked too quickly. I just bought and it. I clicked you buy. know how you can buy or rent? So this yeah. was all we an bought accident. It. But no, no, we wanted to watch you it. Said it. No, it asked, are you sure you want to buy it? We thought, no. it, we thought he hit rent. Oh, So we said, of, of course. 
We don't. We don't uh, read. Of course. We don't so now read. we own Alphys. Yeah. Yeah. You can. If watch you want to watch it, it's dude. It's so good. You also own that stage, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, work it, Smoochie. <laughs> what? A, what an insane life story he has. Oh, you have to watch it. We. I. I wanted to cry. Oh no, I bet it's good. I love it him. Lo- the trailer looked amazing. I it's just him. a Austin long. Austin Butler movie. did amazing. He did I a really good job. I think he did great. Yeah. Was he? Uh, I mean, damn! He was all spot, those he Elvis was impersonators on. feeling like he got the spotlight. How they worked feel. their entire life hoping I a movie know, would come out, and then Austin imagine. Butler comes in. <laughs> all right, I can't imagine working every single day thinking they're Elvis, and then some guy comes. <laughs> I know. And Wait, but Elvis. you you actually think these impersonators in real life are giving that name, <laughs> like Elvis. Frank Elvis? Elvis is a cool name for a kid. Yeah. Elvis. Or, yeah. I bet you a or, lot of kids are going to be named Elvis. Like, oh, yeah. There's going to be a rush of bring Elvises. Bring it back. Yeah. Or maybe like a dog. That's I cute. don't know. Elvis I, is I, a good dog name. Yeah. I call it. I'm going to call it Sinatra. It's, <gasps> you wouldn't. You're sick. You're a sick <laughs> bastard. <laughs> I'm sick right now. You can't, you can't, you can't even look at you. ugly little dog, too. Then I'm going to name mine. I can't even. It's one of the rat I'm dogs because it's a, yeah. a little <laughs> rat pack. <laughs> rat, rat dog. Are we done? Great job, Jordan. Yeah, good job, Jordan. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. That was a great episode. That was fun. Thank you for speaking your truth and telling your side of things in your life. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, thanks. It feels great. Yo, to but I think, I think you taught a lot of people a very important lesson. Do not leave your gate open if you have a pet emu. It's a lot to take away from this episode. Yeah, there is. Exactly. All right, we're going to end the episode. Um, <clears throat> Thank you again for watching today's episode. Everybody, thank Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Thank, you, Jordan. Th- thank, thank could, you to my come, family. Come by anytime. He could have been doing to anything else. Four. He could have been. He would have just been sitting there monitoring I I audio. Been, exactly, but it's a lot. Things still. sound different from this side of the room, though. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like a superstar or not really? No. Yeah, no, we don't either. He's just like you and I. Yeah, dude, we're all just normal. a regular guy from Plantation. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Humble beginnings. Yeah. Okay. You want to promote our coffee? <laughs> yeah. Upside down. <laughs> <laughs> he said. <laughs> Shout out Michael Jordan. <laughs> Shout out Michael Jordan. <laughs> Shout out Michael Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan, we don't have much time. <laughs> I snapped well, him. I, 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 promote, a co- promote a coffee. It's the one. <laughs> you got it. You got it. One take. You got to wake up. <laughs> okay. I'm having a panic attack. We've all been there. I don't even know what I'm doing. We can't cut this, Jordan. Uh, wh- okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't, I'm promoting, Jordan, we don't have I'm pro- an editor. I'm promoting the coffee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just like what would, like, yeah. Where, where do people go to get the coffee? There's only one place to go to get the best coffee on earth. <laughs> where, right. where is that? Where is that? On, on planet that? earth. <laughs> that, that is... On your computer, online, and go to Cremota.com slash Zanini. No, no, no slash, no slash. It's our company, Jordan. It was a good, it was a good and not only that. <laughs> and not only there. And it doesn't but stop there. It doesn't stop there. But you but can go wait. right now. If you call right now. Three easy payments. Of <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> $3. And it comes in five different flavors. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna. I wonder how pass much. It over I wonder you. how much Jordan will sell off that. Guys, what if we b- have buy some Kremota for Jordan. What if yeah. we have <laughs> they crushed the spikes. <laughs> Vince is like, I don't know what happened this week. We know. That's we right. We know our secret weapon. <clears throat> wow. All right. Yeah. Um, make sure to check it out. We got bags. We've got K cups and all the flavors. Kremota.com to get yours. Yeah. Products. We have new mugs coming out shortly. So yes. Make sure to check that out. Good quality shit. I didn't say all of that. No, you, you hit those. Did. We're, yeah. just we're just reiterating. Okay. We're just, re- yeah. He's, get, schizo- he's schizophrenic. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm Savante, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also bipolar disorder, so. I'm <laughs> I'm a bipolar disorder. I'm the whole disorder. All right, come on. <laughs> I gotta go. There's um, other personalities talking. Um, obviously, you can check us out every Monday audio form on uh, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and whatnot. And then we post uh, the video form of these podcasts every Tuesday at youtube.com slash Zane and so we also have a Patreon yep. where you can pay $5 a month and you get a whole bunch of extra content. You also get the guests. back catalog of everything we've posted yes, before. that's important. You get all of everything that we've every bonus episode since October. Yes, since uh, we started. So every high episode, you're also going to get access to the Discord. We do a monthly live stream where we answer a bunch of questions, hang out with you guys, and then we do an unwind. Uh, so once we cut this episode, we'll still sit here and f- f- chat for like 15 minutes. And then we're, along. we put that through and that's just raw, unfiltered, Unedited. We talk content. all the shit and the, and the shit. Lots of shit. A lot of shit happening. 
Um, so yeah, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath if you want to be part of our patron family. Be part of the cult. Zane. What? They're not, it's not a cult. It is. Look, we're all wearing, look at, look what you make Jordan wear every day. He didn't make me wear this. <laughs> my man. My man. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make me wear this. <laughs> he didn't make me wear this. All right, we love you guys. We'll see you next week. Peace out. Ciao. Love ya. Ciao, za. Bye.